entrepreneur, author, activist, recording artist, host, social media superstar, and more. Please welcome the queen, the new supreme, the irrepressible, T.S. Madison. Madison. T.S. Madison. T.S. Madison. Miss T.S. Madison. Mother T.S. Madison is yeah. in the building. I'm just a trans woman that expressed exactly how I feel when I feel like it. The internet really changed my life, like, completely. The internet queen and icon. What's up? You guys to get in this thing. You were cooking him, girl. I was like, girl, I can hear the grease popping. What? <laughs> Social media maven. Yes, Madison. What is the experience? I'm fascinated by this. Well, to be honest with you, Harvey, it's a human experience. I was from the adult entertainment scene. I did walk the streets. You know, that that is my story. And that's a story for a lot of black trans women. If you're put into this situation right now, where, where you're into a, a space that you really don't want to be in, make the best of it. Make the most money right. that you can and own all of it. You're gonna build a whole entire empire out of this. And you took that money and you used that money and you flipped it to build this empire. So this is why I can't you can no longer run through your backyard naked screaming the haters keep chasing me. <laughs> it's just me navigating through the world as a trans woman with big dreams of, of being as big as Wendy, as big as Oprah on, on, on my television talk show. Because when I get there, because I'm coming, I just got a shiver in my back and it ain't a man. <laughs> I respect women. I have a different type of love for a woman. I think a woman is earth. Oh, mm. That was deep. You're beautiful. You're strong. You're powerful. Young black women, young black trans women watching you out there every week, even though you got your little shade with it, you still a boss. You guys are, are on this journey with me. It's about fun, love, and family. Now that T.S. Madison is coming through this and other trans women like myself, it creates spaces for my black trans women to walk through and uh, not have to face or, or walk that road that I did before. I want to have my own version of the talk, the real, the view. Miss T.S. Madison! Oh my God, don't take me! Get ready, the T.S. Madison Experience. Now she's occupied, she's opening up spaces on the internet, on television, and that's why it is so imperative and important that I'm here today. I got one thing to say, Rue. What? New wings, new wings, <laughs> 22 inches, yes! Hey everybody, this is T.S. Madison, and if you are trying to grow your business, brand or product, why not advertise with me? Email me at booktsmadison at gmail.com so that you can get in on our comprehensive advertisement packages. Unique visits, unique subscribers, honey, a broad demographic. Advertise with me today. It's morning, and we slept the night away. <laughs> Shout out at the song, I want to say. It's Maddie in the morning, Maddie in the morning. Maddie in the morning, Maddie in the morning. Maddie in the morning, Maddie in the morning. Maddie in the morning. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Wait, honey, it's nine o'clock somewhere. Get in here and watch the damn show. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Cause I was getting ready to. <laughs> oh, 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 all time, God. Yeah. Baby, I got it right on time. You did. Y'all you didn't did. get no copyrights today. I was already about to look it back at you. Sorry, Dottie. <laughs> you don't know I saw. You don't know the old time God that I heard. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Now listen to me. Listen to me. Yes. You say it's your birthday, Keith Cherry. Happy birthday to you. Yes, Mo, you better serenade. Happy birthday. You. Oh. Happy.
happy birthday, Keith Cherry, and okay, all okay. and all and every single one of my Scorpio. Happy birthday, Jean. To you. Got to feel the spirit. It's your birthday, bitch. God, that bless you to be a hum another year, darling. So I just want to let you guys know that I had a wonderful birthday. Wonderful. I, I know I unboxed my gifts the day after, but I, I continue, continue to have a wonderful birthday. Um, I was working and um, I was on. Hey, TT. Yes, God, the infamous. The infamous, honey, the infamous. I'm going to put a video together for my birthday. I didn't have a chance because I went to work like the next, like the next uh, day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you had to be there, what, I think eight? And in, in the fucking morning. In the morning, I remember. <laughs> I'm like, nigga, I'm still drinking. <laughs> still recovering from last night. Nigga, I'm still drinking. <laughs> And then I got hit with watermelon, so shit. I recovered from that too. Watermelon seeds all in my ass. I had watermelon seeds in my ass, in my neck, down my bike. Damn, I had to get up and go to work. Oh my god! But was it a long day though? Oh, it was a long day. Oh god! Oh. And listen, I was such a long day. Um. We oh god, I, I almost told y'all what the fuck hush, bro. <laughs> I almost told y'all some shit. Hush when you get me fired. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm off sorry. the people's job. I'm so sorry, I'm sorry. Hush. I was just I was just trying I was just, I was finna give you my experience too. <laughs> and say, man, we sat in the office said, nah, I was finna I was about to go right into it. Did you? <laughs> I had to catch my motherfucking self. I was just trying to, you know, see how your day was. Why? Day. Why? How did, why? <laughs> I was just going to be like, yeah, because I don't know, man. You tried to get me fired. <laughs> no, never that. Never Shit, that. I just got the damn job. <laughs> and I don't want to fuck up with that director because that director got some big shit going on. I need to be a part of all of that stuff. My fault, my fault, my fault. I, I, I'll take accountability on that one. I ain't mean to. I ain't mean to. You know how I get the gossiping. Right. <laughs> I ain't know. I ain't mean to start getting you talking. I ain't mean to start you're getting to, you talking. You're trying to suck me in, honey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Boy, I tell you, boy, I, listen. Y'all don't know. I, I got I'm, the reason why I keep saying this shit because I almost went right into because I was finna read about what went on that day. <laughs> this is my, I, but I will tell you, my feet was hurting. <laughs> like, why the hell y'all got me sitting here this long ass motherfucking time? God damn! I got other things to do. I ain't saying nothing on this pod. <laughs> I done said all my damn, my goddamn lies. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, Lord. I just want to say that as a boy, I know he's a what I'm dreaming of. Ah, looks into my eyes, takes me to the clouds above. Ooh. Ooh. How will I know? How will I know? How will I know? How will I know? How will I know if he really loves me? I say a prop with every heartbeat. I fall in love whenever we meet. I'm asking you because you know 
to if he loves me not if he loves me if he loves me not oh how will I know who how will I know who how will I know look let somebody wrote it down there <laughs> Oh, all right, child. If you didn't know, I gave a context clue. You'll just have to find out. <laughs> I couldn't. I couldn't resist the gossip. <laughs> but I just gave a context clue. You'll find out when it comes. You, you when, when, it, when all the shit come out, y'all gonna be like, "Girl, that bitch gave us a clue on the show." <laughs> yes. All right. So today is Wednesday. We are in. We are in midweek and hump day, hump day, hump day. Hump day hump. Now, Mo, how you gonna call a hump day and then scoot your ass back in the chair like that? Like that's that. not that's not what I did. Like I look. That's not what I did, man. God, shit, that is not what I did. Like I wasn't. Why? Gonna, why you be? Uh, why you be? Why you be saying stuff that ain't true, man? That's so your ass I mean. ain't hanging out the back of the chair like that. Give me your chair, dear. <laughs> People say, why are y'all saying this more like it's afternoon? Well, <laughs> I was saying that because it is three, it's three o'clock over here. So it's noon in LA. So it's still, it's morning. And then to myself, where the HR rep? Right here. <laughs> I heard you bitches was looking at me. Bitch, here I go. <laughs> Tonight, I'm going to see Black Adam. Um, I'm, I'm going to see Black Adam. I was talking about how good of a birthday I had. My daughter came out. Chi Chi came out. You know, Mo didn't come to the club, but Mo came to the dinner. Didn't come to the dinner though. Now nah, you did. Mo, Mo was like, "Listen, it's too many. It's probably Mo. You know, it's and, okay." And, and what, was I decent during the dinner? Mo, listen, y'all. Mo looked real nice. Thank you. I ain't even gonna front. I, I almost took a picture with Mo. And said, listen. <laughs> I was so proud that Mo didn't come with no button up, button, button up. Now he did come true to the nature of his outfit. And what did you say? And what did you say? I look like a what? What I said, Mo? I can't. I look like a nice African. You do look like a nice. What, what does that mean? Like, oh, you look like a nice African. <laughs> <laughs> this is how y'all be finessing girls out there, so secure to know, like this. <laughs> All you had to do was pull up and you a, a Bentley, a, 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 a rented Bentley. You could have got out a so secure to know, you know, um, oh. so Chi Chi came out, Chi Chi was out, uh, Scott came out, um, uh, like all my closest, my closest friends and family, um, they came out to uh, mix, and then you know, the next day, um, you know, I had another gathering and they came out to dinner. Um, I celebrated with Tony Bryce, um. Like we had a really good night, Lawrence. Miss Lawrence, y'all know Miss Lawrence came out, bitch. Cherry, <laughs> yes, bitch. My motherfucker, yeah. Cherry came out. I love Cherry. I don't give a fuck what none of y'all hoes say about my motherfucking dog. I love Cherry. Cherry is a battle cat from. She's a battle cat, but she ain't nothing but a cancer. And cancers are very emotional. Are very it's water. So the waves like this. But when they have a balance with you, like you can ride that balance like this. And I, I really enjoy her company and I enjoy her wildness. I enjoy her spunk. I enjoy like her, the fun. Like we have really fun. T- when I get with her, it's like we have a really fun time. And Tammy and my daughter, Tammy, you know, Chi Chi. And what I'm loving, what I'm loving about Chi Chi. Wait a minute. Is this what they're what they telling me? I got to come to the chest. Yeah, we good. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now, see, Mo, you join me in again. <laughs> I'm not going to read. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was just saying, man. I'm just asking. I'm just asking, you know. Ain't nothing wrong with asking. I'm not hurting nobody. But you trying to draw me in to, to say some shit. <laughs> This is set. This is the set message of me now.
<clears throat> oh, Gigi said, when are y'all linking? I'm trying to find out right now from this from <laughs> from sit right now. <laughs> Give me one second. I'm trying to find out what I'm doing from sit for sit right now because I got to run run my goddamn ass down here to the. <laughs> Run, run my motherfucking ass down there to get COVID tested. But I ain't gonna read. I like working. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm a Hirsch. Why do y'all why do y'all always think we have a different version for everything? We do. We don't have a different version for everything. Well, I want to pull my chair up. Come tilt this camera up some more. Oh, okay. this shit dropped me to the floor. And I need to put on your mic. You do got a mic, me. Because Mike Will made it. <laughs> I need to see the top of my hair. Yeah, just tilt it up just a bit. Oh, shit. But I don't want them to miss the desk. Yeah, right there, Mo. That's a, ba that's a good balance right there. When I wear high hair like this, you got to make sure you always. Tilt it up because you know I'll be wanting them to catch my hair and stuff like that. You know, they don't they don't need to see the this, that, that I really wish I could have taken Trevor Noah's job. Oh, at the night show, night, Ooh, night show. the tonight show would have never been the same. Once you come in contact with Jesus, it'll never be the same. Because oh. when I jumped up the third going down the bike, There's bro. Nothing there. It ain't nothing ever going down. This is going keep going. You'll you'll grip. So fun. just drop it. No, go put your hand down there, Mo. But I'm saying, like, yeah, it's it's right, it is right there. You just got to go clap it now. Yeah. Mo, go keep going. Yes. Don't have it loose in the bike. <laughs> right there. Well, man. Mo, pull the thing forward oh, no. now. <sighs> Shit. Okay, there right. That's the core. The court ain't never lost. It's always there. <laughs> I'll be down there. I'm going to go down there and take my motherfucking COVID test when I get ready. Man, fuck that. Ooh. God. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. I got to turn around and go back down there again. Hello. No. This is me. Here's a right. Hello. <laughs> is it? Mo, well, you got to have you. You dog skin. You supposed to be able to see in the dog. That doesn't. I don't have cat eyes, Maddie. Well, did shit. You need them. <laughs> you blind. You I need to see that. You need to be able to see in the dog. You see how weird. Oh yeah, you do. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry for you. Sorry for your brother. For my loss. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I will too, but I got contacts. Sorry. Okay. Can y'all hear me? Can you hear me? You're going to put the shit way over here, Mom. You so, I don't understand. Yeah, you, you should never be scared to touch a transsexual. <laughs> <laughs> Where you me we ain't nothing but women. Damn. <laughs> We do a good. As long as we know that, you hear that, ladies? Yeah. Treat your men treat us the same way. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So loud and clear, loud and clear. All right. All right. Okay. So you know, as you can see, I'm getting texts from from set. So I'm not gonna. I, I'm. I, I, I want to stay, but I don't know how long I'm gonna be able to stay because they, they gave me this time frame that I need to go down here. But I'm like, girl, we get COVID tested every goddamn day when we get to the day I'm set. We get COVID tested every motherfucking day. Shit. Damn. Anyway, before we really get started, I want to give a special shout out to my sister, Dominique Morgan. Dominique 
handled me like like listen i got a lot of gifts and nobody's gifts is better is better than the other one because it said it's always the thought that counts yeah. so no one's gift is better than the other one but bitch this gift that my sister got me i really love that you guys know that i i really don't i really don't splurge on myself like I should. And there's a lot of you out there who tell me like, Madison, you should really splurge more on yourself. But like I told y'all, I come from a time when there was, when, when money was scarce. And, I, and and some of you have lived through those times, like from the pandemic, but the pandemic was something that was for me all the time. And so I'm really not a girl. I, I really spend, I really spend smart and not you know, crazy because, you know, I was listening to a video of a, 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 a interview that um, Vlad TV was doing with uh, uh, Boosie and why, who is this YK Osiris? Am I saying this right? Is it, am I saying it right? YK Osiris. And he was talking about Boosie, Boosie said that he had never, when he was signed to a label, he had never touched a million dollars. But when you know they were giving the money up front, like they was showing like money up front, like they were they they was having all this fucking money and shit like that, you know. And so you know people have the perception that these rappers and this stuff have like these millions and millions of dollars. Because I've always wondered like how did these rappers have millions of dollars when they just got a song that just popped? I just heard the song yesterday, so how are they having these stacks and 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 you know you. <laughs> Basically. these monies piled to the scene and like how is this possible when I just heard the song yesterday like the streams ain't even streaming like that and the payouts that, like how is it and so you know Boosie Boosie, Boosie was talking about it whatever and I listened and then I heard YK the YK person say how he gave his mama a hundred thousand his daddy a hundred thousand he spent a hundred thousand in clothes and shoes he spent this and the other and then they say that he he said that you know he asked him he needed another million another million dollars like i need i need some more money by i'm like bro you are really in debt indebted to these people like you are really really indebted to these people indebted to these people you know i i went all the way over to say Mo, give me my gift that I got from. I put posted on my Instagram, but I was I wanted to post it. Give me my gift that I got because I'm going to be wearing this to Monique. And guys, how fabulous is it? Yes, how fabulous is it that Monique has her taping? Thank you, Moses. How Monique has her taping? Yeah, this is my sister. Got yes, yes, honey. You see that, bitch? Louis Vuitton. Vuitton. Bitch! Ha! Ooh. Oh, it was so heavy. I'm, sorry. I'm not used to putting heavy. Well, I am. But... Gigi said, where are we going? <laughs> where are we going? Where are we going? So, where are we going? Yes. Louis Vuitton. And, um, you know, she said, Maddie, you be walking around here. You got your name on a Beyonce album, girl. You need to have all. I'm like, girl, I understand that. So, yeah, Maddie, your name on a Beyonce album, bitch. And I was like, girl, I get it. Girl, I get it. I already had to put it out the bag, but girl, you know, she got me a cute. It's like an orange, like, you know. So I'm going to wear this um, Saturday. What day is the 29th? Today is, let me, hold on, I'm going to check. I'm going to check. We'll be back. 29th is the, on a Saturday. Saturday? Yeah. Oh, so that's three days. Yeah. So I'm going to be wearing this Saturday. I got this little cute. I'm going to have my hair like this probably, but probably done a little bit better. Like, you know, I did this this morning. Like I, well, Jameson actually laid my edges down and put my, but I pulled my hair back in a ponytail and I clamped it up this morning because it was originally it was down and flowy and stuff like that. But I was like, you know, I'm trying to keep these like you, these little youthful, these little youthful looks and stuff like that. You know, they're going because I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm over here like, girl, I'm getting old. Oh, but my pussy's still good. But so I'm going to wear this bag. I have these jeans. I have like this, th these jeans and this top. 
this um, bell bottom sleeve top, whatever, and, I'm, and it comes like over the shoulder like this. And so I'm gonna have my hair up like this or whatever. And it's so cute, you know? And I really, I got some, I bought me some new heels or whatever, but I'm gonna rock my motherfucking Louis Vuitton bag. I'm gonna rock, I'm gonna, I'm gonna rock my bag. Now I have a Louis Vuitton bag now. I have um, a Jimmy Choo bag that Dorian, that my son Dorian bought me, my daughter's son Dorian bought me a Jimmy Choo bag. Um, I have label, I have designer bags and stuff. It's just that I'm not a girl that's gonna run down there and buy it every time I get money. And y'all know I get money all the fucking time. If I ran down there and bought design, now if you caught me in the airport, I wear Versace shoes. I do have Versace shoes. I do have Versace slippers. I do. <laughs> I do have. I have a two pair of Gucci slides. I have a pair. Of, That's one thing I know you spend your money on. Now I'm, I'm gonna give me some good slides. You gonna get you some now, slides. bitch, the motherfucking slides <laughs> do hurt my feet though. <laughs> Them designer to shit. That designer to shit be hurting. <laughs> and so, you know. I'm gonna spend good on that, but I like artwork and things like that. Like things that I like things that if she, if times get hard for me, you know, I could run down there to the to the to the estate sale or the ooh, estate. That means I was dead. Um, let me be careful. <laughs> I could run down there to the auction. I could auction off my shit. You feel me? Like just in case, you know, that's just the way I am. Like I have an older I have an older upbringing. Like I'm always pre prepared pre prepared for the Great Depression, bitch. I got canned beans in the closet right now, bitch. <laughs> For the apocalypse. For the apocalypse, bitch. <laughs> if the Lord come and he don't take me right with me, I'm going to have some cans of beans. I'm going to wait for the second go round <laughs> for the third one because that will be his second coming because he's going to come the third time. <laughs> right? How the book say? Hey, that's what the book say, Mo. Like, if, he don't, if he don't kept, he came the one time, mm -hmm. then he's going to come again in the rapture. And then you're going to have one more chance if you don't take the mark of the beast. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you know, if you don't take me in the rapture, I'll be over here with my cans of beans, <laughs> eating them, be eating them, uh, baked beans. They baked beans. Yes, I'm gonna eat them baked beans. I'm actually gonna start going out there. And my, I'm gonna I'm upkeep my mama's garden that she put out there to y'all. <laughs> I'm gonna learn how to eat from the earth, honey. But I just don't want that thing stinging me for five months, honey. Yeah, you know the beans. You know the beans. No, I'm talking about that the beast that's supposed to sting you for five oh. months, honey. Oh, yeah. uh, that's why I got when the rapture come, I got to be gone in the twinkling of an eye. The sky shall unfold, preparing his entrance. You know, I don't know all of Vicky because Vicky was carrying on. Vicky Wine is carrying on on that song, <laughs> and they say the sleeping is gonna rise. Up. I was like, come on, Vicky! <laughs> anyway, I I'm sorry, y'all. I will be rambling about this shit, girl. <laughs> we shall be all. Anyway. Thank you again, Dominique. Because you, listen, it's girls like Dominique and, and Dorian that make me say, get up and get you some designer shit, Maddie. You know, you own a Beyonce album, girl. <laughs> Girl, you on a Beyonce album. Now, I will tell y'all, every time I show up somewhere, I look good. And, 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 and no, ain't, no question, ain't no question about that. Because if Fashion Nova can get over this ass, I'm going to wear it. Fashion Nova and Curve Culture, because I got a lot of body. Ladies and gentlemen, I have a lot of body. Like, I am a, I am a 42 triple D. Yes. Wait a minute, I'm a 46. <laughs> I'm a 46 triple D. Uh, I can't remember what the waist is, but y'all know I got a small one. And I am a 60 around 60. The circumference of my body from hip to hip is 60 around. I am five foot, six and a half, five, seven ish. But I'm a 60 all the way around. So I have a lot of body. And you know, lots of times when people run into me in person, like a lot of them, they'll be like, girl, I didn't know you was little like that, girl. You look, you know, and it all depends on how my weight is because my weight fluctuates because at times I'm at times I'm super, super thick. And then sometimes I'm just I'm thick. 
You say, how much do I weigh, Shelly? I don't remember. <laughs> but you can look at my arms, girl, and see that it's not, I don't have those saddlebag arms. I don't have those saddlebag arms. Yes, girl. You can see by my arms, I don't have those, I don't have those, those Weight Watcher arms, girl. You see, I don't have those types of arms. And there's nothing wrong with saddlebag arms. I just don't have them, you know? Uh, so, no, don't let that thing fall over there on the floor for me. Oh, bitch, I tell you, don't let that fall on the floor. My phone fall. <laughs> look, look, you, you, look what she, she said. Girl, <laughs> that's what I'm going to bet you and your shit when I see you. <laughs> I'm going to bust you dead in your motherfucking head when I see you, bitch. I'm like, I ain't no motherfucking 361 pounds. <laughs> bitch, you's a motherfucking lie. <laughs> so I also had got these things for my birthday, too. Mo, come who this? Come bust this open. It's, it's already leaking from the bottom. Just bust it open. Okay. Oops, sorry. That's all right, Mo. They be wanting you to walk in front of the camera. Blackfufu.org is coming. ha! <laughs> Blackfufu.org.edu. She joking, y'all. No, she not. <laughs> he joking. <laughs> he joking. Oh my God! They said, "Oh, so this is oh, for this is for painting." Now this is the way y'all hoes supposed to paint. You loose boot, you loose booty, loose gut bitches. Y'all ain't supposed to paint the way y'all oh, be wait, painting. Wait, wait, what, what are you? Yes, is that a vagina? Because yeah, from the way it looks, it looks See, like I, I wanted to say that, but I I didn't want to be incorrect. Oh yeah, I'm gonna send this home with you, Mo. <laughs> I don't know how to paint this. I can leave this white. I can leave this white. This is a vagina. Why do? Why would I want to paint a vagina? I got the butt. Wait, no, it's, no, there's something like, like it. It's a penis. Yeah. Okay, now that's the one I'm keeping. <laughs> I'm gonna give you the kit to take the vagina home with you. <laughs> so they made me this. They brought it to the club. I didn't get. Ooh, they handmade this. Now, if your vagina look like this, girl, I don't know. I'm glad that the light is showing it white like this. Golly, that's a big pussy. Is that a vagina or a mouth? Oh, okay. That might be a. Mouth, but you can take it with you too, Mo. <laughs> Wait, this got teeth in it. This is a That's vagina. This is a vagina. <laughs> this is a man eater right here. <laughs> oh, and then you got uh, you got some glasses. Oh, they gave me lots of stuff. Where did, did they put that card in there? No, I didn't see the card. Oh my god, see, I know, and that they probably be in oh, the yeah. camp. No, 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 that. Uh, oh, they, oh, y'all say those are lips. Oh, girl, why y'all falling out of the comments like that? Oh my God, y'all messy. Oh, they messy. I'm not repeating that. Mo, Mo walk this over there to the camera where they can see those lips because they can see how I had it confused. <laughs> Bitch, I had that shit confused like a motherfucker. I thought, turn it up. It Mo, you told me that was a vagina. I said, but I said that it looks like You know I ain't <laughs> never seen no vagina before. Turn it up. What, what, what made me, what confused me? That's it, that's it, that's that. Man, you can't blame me for this. I said it. I said, but you said now y'all heard Mo tell me that was a vagina. I changed it. Man, y'all ooh. I changed it. I said, I said it might be some lips, man. It might be a mouth. I said it might be a mouth, but it's not a vagina. It might be a mouth because I saw them teeth. Mo, what kind of pussy do you be fucking over there? Hey, don't say that, man. Golly, <laughs> if that pussy look be look like this, where you meet these bitches at, Mo? Man, man, look, if look, these look, if the pussy look like that when you put it out the bag. <laughs> Put that bitch on the train somewhere. Well, you, I ain't never had no pussy. I know what they're supposed to look like that. <laughs> Me neither. But <laughs> they should they put more free. <laughs> well, what kind of pussy you over there fucking? Man, I never said Mo, that. it's one up there on the table. Please go in there and get the one out the table. <laughs> it's one on the table that I need to. Boy, now, Mo, now listen. Now, y'all saw Mo tell me that that was a pussy. But did I change it? I changed it. When you, when, now, y'all heard Mo tell me, I don't want no problem with y'all women's, okay? Don't y'all hoes come windmilling me with that bullshit. Because Mo told me, I didn't even see that thing. Mo told me that there was a motherfucking pussy coming out the bag. Well, man, man, I said that it looked like a mouth. I said it looked like a mouth, man. 
I said it looked like a mouse. Mo, they say you fucking dragons, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I was nah, trying to rewind I don't, it. I don't, I don't, I don't I try to rewind But when you rewind it, no, you hoes don't come over here talking about I'm pussy shaming because I did. <laughs> I just didn't know. I, he told me it was a pussy before I seen it. He's a man. He knows what pussy look like. I don't. And so I was over there like, well, girl. I just saw it got teeth in it. Let me see this. Look, there you go. Now, this also, they gave me this. I think this is a buttocks. Yeah. No, put it close. You know it's on the white canvas. I got the paint in. Yes. I like the little crack right there. The little cracks are there. Hey, there it is. Hey, he be, he be a shot of my. Yeah. We're going to put it. Like, no, I need to decorate that. We're going to put that. Not in on the wall because I don't need to look at my new ass. <laughs> we'll put them in there in that room and with, with they got the pole. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, wait, we open that, Mo. I want to know what that is. Oh, you don't want me to open the dick, huh? I didn't know that was what it was. Oh, you knew this was a dick. <laughs> oh, I could. Damn. Now they could have made this dick bigger than this. Now, it might, it to might get, be cold. <laughs> <laughs> you know that does happen. <laughs> you know, cause my, I, you know, I get, I understand, Mo. No, we, <laughs> I see you, brother. Yeah, I see you, brother. Another mouth, man. You sh- okay now? I can just dis- I know that's a mouth because I see the teeth, <laughs> but you had it turned some kind of way. No, it was in the plastic, that's why. Well, that's where it should be <laughs> in the plastic. Oh, wait a minute now, whose mode of dick is this? Now, this you know, and they put it on the- they why the lips bigger than the dick? <laughs> you said, oh, oh, I'm gonna paint this, put it up there, Mo. Yeah, I'm gonna have to paint that. We're gonna have to give it a little definition. <laughs> but them nuts long. Y'all leave them some heavy ass nuts. <laughs> Boy, them some nuts down there. <laughs> yeah. Who molded this? Who's mold? Before I start painting on this, whose mold is this? <laughs> oh Lord. Somebody say that, that's a pistol. This a, yeah, this is a 380. <laughs> if you gonna give me a mold of a dick, please give me a 40. A Glock 40, please. Give me a Glock 40. Actually, give me a Desert Eagle. That's the kind of dick I want you to give me. Give me a Desert Eagle. Because I don't know what... Okay, so we're going to put it on this easel right here. Yeah. And then paint it. Okay, because it, it came with all the paint stuff. Yeah, the paint stuff is in that bag right there that I saw. Mm, I'm so excited to do this. Yes, come on, paint brushes. I think one day I'm going to wake up with y'all. I'm going to call Chi Chi Matt Nasty Ass over here. Oh, Montreal Jones, thank you. A special gift from Montreal Jones. I got it. Got it, Mo. Okay, I thought, I thought we lost. it says a special gift from Montreal Jones, the owner of Urban Turquoise LLC. She says, I know you're probably thinking, what in the world did you get and who in the world said it? Well, I'd like to introduce, introduce myself. My name is Montreal Jones. I'm an emerging sculptor artist and fashion curator whose love of art led me to producing pieces like what has been given to me. I wanted to give you something special to enjoy and explore your personal creative vibes. That's a whole new take on the sip and paint experience. I really hope you enjoy this gift and I hope to have your support in my journey towards greatness. Okay, so this is from the Urban Turquoise. So that's shop Urban Turquoise, shop Urban Turquoise at gmail.com. And there's a phone number on here. 214-641-477. 214-641-477. I'd like to know that now. <laughs> because I'm nervous about this. I'm nervous about this. Because I can't. You say I like it. You say I like it. Girl, not y'all use a Carisha. I like that. I like that. <laughs> okay, Mo, sit this over there. We're gonna we, 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 one day I'm gonna wake up. This is the first thing I'm gonna start out painting is this dig. I'm definitely gonna print it yeah. black. 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 I'm dog skin. No. Not light skin. Darkness, honey. <laughs> Darkness. Cause that's what happens in the dog. The dicks go black, honey. <laughs> yeah. Let me put this second here. They tell myself you should go live and, and, and sip and paint together. Girl. If I made a sip and paint, uh uh-uh, uh, I'm gonna I can't go live in there. 
Y'all will never have my y'all will never have my you all my social media shut down because the girls waiting to do that on me any motherfucking way. Yeah, put that over there, Mo. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna paint this. I'm gonna do this one in my private time when I don't have nothing like that I'm really doing. You know, it's probably it'll probably release the tray, release the tray. It'll probably do that for me. Do we still have a trash bag for that stuff? Yeah, I still got it. We got new glasses, Mo. Yep. Let me see. Hey, I like these. Hey, hey. Have y'all been following Dr. Mary Emma McGregor? What's in here? It says happy birthday. Thank y'all, man. Y'all be, well, they be looking out for the dog. One thing I got to tell y'all, I know my folks, I know I, I know there are times y'all that I feed into a lot of the negativity or whatever when, when a bitch say some crazy shit about me, but I am really loved out here in these motherfucking streets and I know this. I know I'm loved out here in these streets. Ain't no, ain't, ain't no, there's no question about me know, me knowing. I'm not y'all put we need Jeffrey Dahmer's. No, ma'am! Y'all gotta stop letting the devil use y'all! Right. <laughs> I know I'm loved out here in these streets, bro, because I'm gonna tell you some real shit. Like, there was something that popped off in, in the club one time before. And it, I think it was September 4th, and the girls got to fighting in the club, honey. When I tell you, them folks surrounded me, it was like, Queen, you good? I was like, shit, hell yeah, but I had, it just it just showed me right then that they was ready. It was, boy, I'm telling you, it was a squaw. <laughs> they ain't want the motherfucker. They didn't want the dog to be harmed in no way, in no way, form, or fashion. And that's why I'm going to look into this camera and I'm going to say this. You fat, nasty, slovenly, motherfucking Macy Gray, Leslie Jones, combination ass motherfucking fat nigga in them slacks, bitch, with that whole ass body you got with them triple E ass fucking titties sitting on your stomach. The only reason, Corey Holcomb, <clears throat> that I'm not going to motherfucking slaughter you or your ass for the next week, bitch, is because I'm working. I'm working. My mama called me on the telephone and she told me to sit down somewhere with that shit and fuck that nigga. And Flame called me. Flame oh, called Flame me. Flame called me. Okay. Flame called me while I was on motherfucking set. And Flame said, Maddie, don't you go backwards. She said, I ain't got nothing to do with that because you my friend and that's a colleague, but don't go backwards. And I say, sister, you better tell that nigga that I'm with all the shits that he with. But the only reason why that I'm not finna sat on that fat ass nigga's motherfucking throat bitch for the next week is because I got work to do and that nigga ain't doing shit but 5150. Him and that chain smoking ass bitch and that funny looking ass top hat wearing ass nigga. They ain't got shit going on but that shit that they doing right there. But the only reason why, bitch, that I'm not going to sit, going to put my size 12 foot on that nigga's throat for the rest of the motherfucking week. And it ain't because I'm scared, because don't no fucking nigga scare me, because don't nigga, don't, ain't no nigga can scare me but the one. And that's God. That nigga. <laughs> but you, you fat, sloppy ass nigga. I'm going to spare you, bitch, like them ribs you eat. And going on by my fucking business. And let you have that. But just know that if I ever run across you and you'll be in your, I don't give a fuck where we are. You better ask any motherfucker who ever done crossed me and done ran into me in person. I don't give a fuck where we at, bitch. I'm going to tear your ass up in your face because you're going to have to tell me a nigga going to do this, going to put his foot on me. You going to have, you going to have to tell me that a nigga going to do that to me because bitch, no, that kind of shit don't scare me that those, those idle threats that you hoes make online to me. That don't mean a motherfucking thing to me because bitch, obviously you don't know the faggot that you talking to, bitch. Because I keep an AK-47 bitch on the seat of my motherfucking trunk, bitch, everywhere I motherfucking go. So, bitch, you got to know that you don't know the punk that you talking to. You have to know that you don't know the punk that you talking about. You wasn't, you wasn't schooled properly. They probably just told you, bitch, that I motherfucking was sitting down with that other motherfucking goddamn uh, predator dread, dreadlock having ass bitch and, and we fell out and, and they think that that hoe read me. But bitch, I told that motherfucking hoe, if you ever tell me that any niggas gonna come looking for me, they gonna find me in your front yard, bitch. 
I'm that kind of hoe. If you ever tell me that you gonna send some niggas to look for me, bitch, they gonna find me in your yard, bitch. They ain't gonna have to find, they gonna have to search for me, they gonna find me in your yard, bitch. Where you stay. Just know that this came from the man with motherfucking titties, bitch. Don't send no idle threats to me about what a nigga, how a nigga be looking. You ain't got to look for me, bitch, because they're going to find me sitting in your yard, bitch, telling you, bitch, to come out the door. Bitch, I walked the streets of Dade County, bitch, in the 90s, bitch. You better Google and find out what was going on during that time period. And I survived, bitch. So ain't nothing that no nigga say from no city that scare me, bitch. Especially no fat, sour cream and onion eating ass potato chip ass nigga. You better thank God for my mama. Because, bitch, I planned on sitting on your ass. I planned on standing on one of them necks, bitch, for the rest of the week. And you got a plenty neck for me to stand on, you fat motherfucker. Plenty. But it's by the grace. And for the rest of you bitches who sit over there and tell me that I don't have that same energy for no man when I cuss a when I cuss a motherfucking woman out, bitch, you better rewind to this. Cause I didn't scared a nail living bitch. And bitch consists of man, woman, and or a fucking child. Now back to our regularly scheduled programming. Let's start from the bottom, oh. Okay. Uh. Kim Zosiak. Girl, now you know, it says Kim Zosiak loses $2.6 million mansion to foreclosure and property to be auctioned off next month. Yep. All I can say is don't be tardy for the motherfucking <laughs> body. <laughs> See, this is why. Wait a minute, what's going on? What we froze? Um, uh, oh, here we go. It's, here we go. See, this is why I don't live above my means. I don't do that because that if God ain't telling me to, I don't do it. Right. My mortgage at this current time, right now, I have a motherfucking two percent. My my thing is two percent, two percent. And so, therefore, I ain't going out there right now. Until the market go down, until the market go the fuck down, because I'm looking at a $3 million mansion right now that I want so bad that I want to run over there right now and be like, here it go. I want to do just like this at the bottom line. I want to do it because I can. I just let me, because I can. And so, I want to run over there and do it. But I'm also looking at, okay, the interest rate is 7%. Right now, and um, <clears throat> yeah, mm -mm. right now my shit at two percent. I'm fine. I got one car for now until I buy my jump off car. That means the car that is there to pull up in your motherfucking yard, bitch. With <laughs> <laughs> When a motherfucker, what she outside? <laughs> what that punk say? No, that punk outside. <laughs> so, you know, okay. I try to keep my credit card bills low. I try to keep all this stuff low because even though I make money, I ain't no motherfucking fool. This is Kim Bieberman. What's her name? Be Bieberman? Kim Zosiak. Uh, yeah. What's her husband's name with the big old booty? The white man with the big old booty that play basketball, foot, uh, baseball. Uh, Croy? I don't know. Is her and Croy still together? Does, does anybody know who her husband is and if they're still together? Is Croy still together? Bieberman? 
I don't even move with it myself. What's Croy, man? Anyway, if she don't get, get she need to put Croy's ass up there on OnlyFans. They did. <laughs> she need to make Croy an OnlyFans and put that big old white ass up there. Beer, beer, Beerman. She need to put Croy's big ass out there, honey. That would definitely pay that mortgage off. Really? Yeah. You ain't hear that motherfucking nun rapping ass up. <laughs> period, ah, period, little bitch. And that other white bitch, Bad Baby. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. That yeah. white bad, bad baby made supposedly made twenty million dollars on her motherfucking OnlyFans. Mo, you around here fucking off? That's because they nigga. They, 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 I'm not gonna make even if nigga, I decide to do OnlyFans. You I'm ain't got to decide. I'm gonna knock your ass in the next week. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put my pimp hand down on your motherfucking ass. <laughs> <laughs> Next week you gonna bring some chickens up in this bitch. Hey, I, I don't give a fuck about that. No we we we'll try. <laughs> <laughs> Failure don't come from sitting down. It come from trying. <laughs> she need to put Croy big booty ass out there on the motherfucking market and tell them niggas don't be toddy for the fucking party. You know. Then this is my little opinion on it. I met Kim Zosiak. We was in the airport one day. Uh uh her and the little daughter. I can't think of the daughter that looked just like her. I don't know. I don't I don't follow them people's lives like that. I don't I don't know. You know, I just seen that. I was like, God damn, you go from being tardy for the party to being tardy down there to JP Chase and Morgan. <laughs> Bitch, you need to show up to the party. <laughs> You being you you one tidy for the party, but you damn sure was late for the JP Chase Morgan bitch. You got your priorities all fucked up. Anyway, let's move on. Brielle, that's a daughter. Okay, Brielle. I ran, yeah. Um, next we have well, actually, I need to actually put all these together to be real with you since we've been on that. First, that's what comes up. Film Studios uh shells completed two million Kanye West documentaries. We cannot support any content that ap- amplifies this platform. What else? Then it says, not one company ended their relationship with Kanye when he says slavery was a choice. And what else? Then, hold on, hold on. All this stand with Kanye? Oh, yeah, hold on. We're going to do it all at one time. Yeah, and they talked about, you know, the floor, George Floyd passing away because of uh, fentanyl and that cops need wasn't the reason why. He died basically. Yeah. Listen, Kanye is bipolar. We already see that. Kanye needs some medication. But I tell y'all this kind of shit all the time. How how white people will quickly remind you who you who's in charge. Who, who's in charge. <laughs> First of all, when JP Chase Morgan told him to come down there and get your money, you had to know something was not right. Right. And then Adidas. Well, no, fuck their uh, adi- No, I mean, they, they canceled it. They canceled it. And, and they told him that they're going to still sell his Yeezy and he ain't getting a dime and they're going to use just what it looked like. <laughs> you got to understand. First of all, we know as colored folks how I feel when the bank denies us for a loan. Right. Right. Yep. For a loan. And you know the type of money. I make a little bit more than some people, you know, but there's people that make a lot more than me. You know, some people on, on this flat line here that probably make a lot, lot more than me. And bitch, you know how it feels to make a lot of money and be go down there and say, hey, I want to start a small business or I want to open up. And they be like, deny. So could you imagine as a colored folk that got hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars that J.P. Chase Morgan told you, called you on the phone. Nigga, come down here and get your shit. <laughs> nigga, excuse me, nigga. And it was with the ER. It was with the ER. Hey, nigga. <laughs> Bring your black ass, your black funky ass down here and get all your fucking shit out of our motherfucking bank. Or we'll be on the corner. Oh, it will. Oh, we'll we'll set every dime out there on the corner. <laughs> you fucking nigger. 
Cause they they shoot they they not big for nobody. But hey, up. G- First of all, first of all, let me explain something to y'all who J.P. Chase Morgan is. (laughs) For you young folks that don't know nothing about it. It's the Rockefellers. Uh, 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 What them folks name? Uh, List them. List them down there. Basically, majority of all these major... The the Rockefellers. Bitch. Is it... What's the camera? I'm not sure. Uh... Put them people down there, them, 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 power, them, them powerful families that, that owns all of this shit, that done own the land, the house, the Rothschilds. There it is. Yeah, Rothschilds. I took a picture with one of them. I'm going to show it to you. The Rothschilds, they came out to watch Bros, the movie. They came out and watched it. And the yes! The Murdochs. Okay. Kennedy. You gotta no, I don't know about the Kennedys. I know about the Vanderbilts, the Rothschilds. I took a folk, I took a picture. Me and Miss Lawrence took a picture with them folk. When they came out, when we was in New York City, they came out and they 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 uh, they watched Bros, the movie. Nigga. Them people own everything. It was like three families. It was three of them big old giant families. I know it's the Rothschilds is one, and I know the motherfucking uh, 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 Rockefellers. I know the motherfucking uh, the whoever, whatever J.P. Chase Morgan is up under. They got it. Them niggas got all this. Yeah. They own this house. They own all of that shit. They've been they've been owning shit way before the Great Depression. That shit that that money that money done passed all the way down from the Great Depression, nigga. You Ted Turner, but Ted Turner ain't got more money than them Rothschilds. They own every them motherfuckers own everything, every fucking thing, everything. Thought he was going to be able to say what he wanted to say about them and get away with it, sir. Sir, you get the you get the fucking off with all of that kind of shit right there, and you have to understand that uh, you colored, sir. You colored. You colored. You said they also stole last two. We know that. <laughs> we know that. So was it? Someone said they own the machines. That- Correct. Yeah. Correct. When the countries in prop have problems, the president calls them people. Hey, we need some money. <laughs> hey, the country needs some money. The country. J.P. Chase on But you know how much you know you know the type of power they have when you know the type of power somebody has when they can tell you Ooh. we don't need your money. Sorry, Mo. Why not you, to, you know you you nuts have been questioned up sometimes. Got yeah, 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 yeah. You do have nuts, don't you? Yeah, yeah I, I do. I hope so. I hope so too. <laughs> you said they funded what? Go up. I seen them say they funded. Uh, they funded. Oh, they funded colonization. No, I don't know about all that. I don't, I don't know about, about slavery. I don't but, know about all that. I don't know if they funded because. I don't know if they funded it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but bro, we gotta get Kanye on some Milleria or some uh, Ritalin. Mo, he need to take his Ritalin. <laughs> Ritalin, Milleria. What's the? What's the? What's the other stuff? 
I know it's mid, mid, Ridlin, Miller Real. Yeah, Ridlin, I think, is the most common out of. He got. Why they got him? Why why they not giving him this stuff? Nah, Prozac, no, no, we no. That's about lithium. La <laughs> 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 Tuda, yeah, all right. I've been trying to get one of well, somebody close to me. That's somebody close to me's nickname, Latuda. Because <laughs> their attitude changes in a second. Oh, Lord. What is it, Thor? What is it called? What is it, hell, <laughs> What is it called? Seroquel. No. That's Seroquel. Somebody said bleach. Zola. So Zola. 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 Uh, no. Valium. Mm, no, that's, mm, that ain't strong. Because I done took Valiums before. So that ain't strong enough. No, he needs that Miller Real, that Ritalin. That Ritalin to get that... that it'll, <sighs> I done sat and watched Ritalin kick in. <laughs> you said, so you just sat there and watched someone get, take Ritalin? <laughs> I'd have been like, okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> you just sat there and you just watched yes. like... <laughs> so wait, they were like struggling? They was carrying... And I seen them admit get Ritalin administered to them. And I was like, I watched it just go from <sighs> I watched it with my eyes. Oh wow. Yes. Y'all know I used to work in a group home. No, I didn't know you were. Oh, Moana had a lot of jobs. <laughs> I only know about the one. Bitch, I was over there at them jobs. Listen, y'all don't understand. I have worked in a lot of places. <laughs> I done worked a lot of places, honey. They told my transsexual ass, get out of here with that! <laughs> Them people don't know what to call you. <laughs> Them people don't understand. They ain't know what the fuck to call you. <laughs> oh, Lord. How many of y'all work in a group home and you don't you don't see you don't have to administer? Because it's some folks that work at work in the group homes. How many of y'all work in a group home and you don't see the mid the Ritlin? Uh, the the uh the shit at, at medicine. <laughs> I had to get one of my motherfucking clients that shit. Oh, well, I had to have the client be gay because the client was with. Okay, excuse me. The word now is consumer. Oh. It's not client anymore. It's consumer. The consumer was uh. <sighs> Girl, one night, Mo. I got to tell you this story before we go. <laughs> This is how I can spot Kanye down the street. One night I was in the kitchen cooking because uh-huh. I used to I used to be living in I used to do living for four days and off three days. And one night I was in the kitchen cooking for the for the comb. I would I, I would have my room and then it would be a house, you know, and um, you know, girl. One of them was standing in the corner. Like, I was in the kitchen cooking. I was making some, uh, I made spaghetti. And they was in the corner watching me. His name was Ricky. He was real big. It was a big one. <laughs> and I never was scared of them because, you know, I understand people that have, you know, uh, they, they, we call them high functioning clients. They at the time they were called clients, and then they changed them from clients to consumer. And so Ricky was standing in the corner. He was big, and I felt the spirit was like, "Bitch, look back over your shoulder, bitch." <laughs> and you just saw. Yes, I looked back over my shoulder. He was standing in the corner, big. I don't know what made him mad. I think I took something from him. And he was, I think he was really plotting to destroy me in that kitchen. Mm. <laughs> and I told him, I said, God, take the breath out of me right now, bitch. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> whatever is in your mind right now. <laughs> I just want you to know, bitch, this will be your last day. If it's my last day, bitch, this your last day too, bitch. We going, we going the same motherfucking day. 
So, bitch, whatever it is, I told him just like this. So, bitch, whatever it is, they fired me. They ended up firing me. <laughs> I don't give a. I say, bitch, whatever it, whatever it is, it's telling, just moving through you and telling you to do what you gonna do. Just know that it is your last day. Cause if this is my last day, bitch, this is our last day together. Man, you're not supposed to threaten the patient. That's why I don't work there no more. <laughs> <laughs> That's why the fuck I don't work there no motherfucking more. But nigga, that motherfucker, Mo, I'm Mo, when you know, you know, I'm not no big person. If people see me in person, I'm not a big person. And back then I was even smaller because I didn't have all, I wasn't like, I didn't have all the body and shit like that. I had somebody, but I'm even, I'm even, I was even smaller then. That motherfucker was big. He was like six four. Oh yeah, that's a big nigga. There was a big. He was that's big. A, yeah, that's a big nigga. Big head like a bear. And he was. I look. I was in there just making us forget. I just cook. The spirit said, "Bitch, look over your shoulder." I look back. This bitch was in the corner like this. <laughs> He might, you don't know, he might have been scared himself. He better been. <laughs> he better been a scared motherfucker. That motherfucker was in the color. I bet. You see, this, imagine me. My back turned like this. Like this chair. This motherfucker back here like this. In the corner like this, mom. In the corner. Oh. Is it lurking like Mike Myers? Yes! <laughs> I said, man, I turned around, boy. I'm telling you, boy. I turned around on that nigga. So he's so wait, hold on, hold on. Erica, they <laughs> said, I got fired because I had to uh, pay for our big ass nigga. Bro, man, I'm finna tell y'all some real shit, dude, bro, that I don't want to even get. Bitch, you can't fire me twice. Oh. And you can't lock me up. I knew a girl who used to put soap and some socks and wear their ass out. <laughs> What? Yeah. Like a bar of soap? A couple bars of soap and some socks. Because <laughs> it don't leave no bars. <laughs> and she was like, bitch, what you, you, tell you say it's bars of soap don't leave marks? Not, in, not if you put it in a pair, pair of socks. Really? You ain't never watched Full Metal Jacket? When they oh. beat that man, they put them socks and stuff. Bro, that motherfucker big was big and they would attack you. They would attack you. It would attack you, bitch. Oh, shit. And you black too. And you know some of them been taught that you a nigga. You know they still got white parents. Mm -hmm. And some of them will some of the parents have taught them that you are a nigga. Oh, you're a nigger. Because they done call me nigger and all kind of faggot. Nigger, you nigger. What are you? You're not even a boy. You're not even a girl. What are you? I say, well, I'ma tell you what I am. <laughs> Nigga, I'm the Grim Reaper, bitch. I turned around. I told they that said, mother. Sorry, man. They said it was this in Miami. Yes, it was in Miami. This when I was living in Miami. <laughs> I think I was 19 at the time. I was 19 years old at the time. 19. Yeah. 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 I was 19. Bitch, that motherfucker was still a big, gigantic ass, six foot four, big motherfucker, big hairy ass, big beast. I don't want it. I don't want it. Well, bitch, this was on y'all menu for me to make mess spaghetti. I don't want it. I was like, okay. And then I was like, well, go in your room and just wait. We'll find that motherfucker creeped out there was in that corner. I said, boy, whatever. I meant that shit, mo. <laughs> Nigga, whatever it is on your mind, it's going to be the last thought you have, bitch. Because whatever, because I know you're going to terrorize me in this kitchen. But I ain't going out without the van. That's why I be telling y'all, I'm not scared of no nigga. Bitch, you, you know, I done had crazy. Look, I can't say that word, God. I've had challenged people. <laughs> I've had challenged people try to motherfucker attack me. Now, I ain't gonna lie. I've seen videos. They be strong as shit. But strong as fuck. They be strong as shit. I ain't gonna front. Strong motherfucker, strong, bitch. But well, my motherfucking friend who used to work at that shit, she dead now. Bitch, my friend used to use excessive force on them. One of them slapped the shit out of her one day. Mm -hmm. 
one of them slapped the shit out of her. And they had to restrain her. She said, that's how I found out about socks and soap. <laughs> When I tell you she beat the shit out of that motherfucking thing with them socks and stuff. I said, oh my God. She whooped that bitch ass. That he slapped the shit out of her. For what? Mo. They, so they will just do shit out of just to do it. Well, you know, a lot of that they rely on their mental. Mm-hmm. They, they, well, we call them high function, high, high functioning high functioning individuals. Yeah, yeah, individuals. So a lot of them play off of that kind of shit. And so she slapped it. He slapped this just up and slapped the shit out of her. Wow. She said, okay, motherfucker. And see, he did that shit while his parents were there. So once they left, bitch, it was over. She feel that's how I found out about them socks and struck it. Kanye need, that's what Kanye need. <laughs> So he needs some soap and socks. <laughs> he need to have his home care person put some, take his ass in there in that room and put some socks and soap in on that ass. <laughs> and we'll see a different Kanye tomorrow. Cause that was a different motherfucker after she put the socks soap on him. <laughs> because he, he knew what was happening if he ever acted. He, he understand what was going on. He ain't understand until he stopped. You don't really get no understanding until you get understanding. <laughs> you know how bitches shoot and be like, wait, did I just get shot? And then it's two more bullets. Oh, I'm here. Oh, I'm being shot. <laughs> Bitch, that first, that first, whoop, with them shot. And then boop, 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 boop. I said, okay. After that, they was friends. <laughs> we need to get, listen, ladies and gentlemen, we need to get those, those long socks, those long tube socks. The Nike ones, because they strong. Because <laughs> I have seen a pair of worse than feet getting those Nike socks. You got to put them, get you them two Nike socks. We got to get that hard ass cold soap zest. <laughs> we don't, don't put no caress in there, because that's soft soap. Irish spray, Irish spray. Get a couple balls of that, because you know, ain't look. <laughs> And we'll all get Kanye right. <laughs> Give me this vote right here. Give me this. Give me this. <laughs> Kanye, we said you to sock to be a sopping soap good. <laughs> At the same time. <laughs> Clear that ass out. <laughs> We'll see a different Kanye tomorrow. Oh. All right, let's go to the next thing, Bo. Oh, Lord. Okay. The next one is... Now, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you, want, you want to read it? It's the bitch say she's suing L'Oreal because the hair strength of the products caused her uterine cancer. <laughs> now, where was you using this at? For it to get on your uterus. <laughs> Bitch, I can see if you just said brain cancer. Yeah, I didn't get that either. I didn't get that either. Where is you using this ad that you got uterus? I can see, you mean to tell me it traveled from all the way down here, which I believe. Because they just said that they was take, taking some shit off of the shelf because it was causing cancer. But I would have believed it more if you just said brain cancer. Right. Or hair or something with your head. And up here at the top. Yeah. Bitch, where's you using the gems for me at? <laughs> Is you perming your pussy hell? You know what, Maddie? I wouldn't be surprised. I do believe that it I do believe that these products do that. I do believe. I'm not gonna tell you no lie. Because I have used the perm and I have I have used the perm and left it on too long and I fainted. Really? Left the shit on too long. I was so lightheaded, I just I just fainted. So wait, is it just L'Oreal that? Because I'm hearing people saying it does cause cancer, but is it just L'Oreal or is it just all permanent? Or is it all well, permanent? she gonna link us to L'Oreal because she was a true L'Oreal customer. Uh, so I believe that it. I do believe her for that. I believe her because. We've been using lots of products. Deodorant. I heard deodorant. I heard about that. Too. Deodorant. But I will tell you, 
peoples, stay at that deodorant from the Dollar Tree. I know times be hard and we got to budget stuff. Stay away from that Arm & Hammer baking soda deodorant from the Dollar Tree. Stay away from that. So they ain't got the money. What should they do then? Maybe they got to. They got to. They got to just be musty for a week or two <laughs> until they could get that. Go get the real deodorant. I'm telling you, that Arm and Hammer baking soda from the Dollar I'll Tree. I never use that. Mo, never in my life do that. not buy that Arm and Hammer baking soda from Dollar Tree or do anyone, any one of those dollar anything that stocks that shit up for a dollar, because bitch. That is not real. They used it. They put that the label on it. That shit is not real, bitch. I had some deodorant from the Arm and Hammer. I'm talking to you hoes from experience, okay? That Arm and Hammer ate my arm up from here to here. Wow. From here to here, I was like, bitch, why am I peeling? Why am I peeling all up under that? I do, listen, Thirsty, I do use Lumi. I do use that. Actually, I have started using Lumi deodorant, and I have I actually take that deodorant, and it keeps my ass. I have a big ass. I told you my ass is a 60. So that is a big ass. And because my ass is so big, in the middle part, I have to make sure it's just like my titties are big. I have a, I'm a 46 triple D. So I have to take that deodorant and I have to put all that stuff under there so that my titties don't be musty. And I use that deodorant so that I don't have no musty titties. And that I don't have no motherfucking ass. My ass don't be musty just in case I bend over. You say, Lumi, is it good? Yes. I do use it. I do. I use the lavender kind and I use the orange scented one. And I use the unscented one, but I use that because I'm telling you, bitch, that shit had my ass. I could take my panties down and be like, shit. That ass still fresh. It'll never lose its power. Now, bitch, if you always got big asses and big titties, bitch, do not sit around here and act like that y'all ain't never had no musty titties when that bra came off, bitch, because you will be telling a fucking lie. If your titties are over a certain size, now you implant bitches, I don't know how that shit work because y'all implants sit up like this all the time until the motherfuckers drop. <laughs> you don't even need no fucking bra. But bitch, we talking about us, uh, us hanging titty having ass bitches, the big titty. You know when that bra come off, oh, it'd be a little few come behind that bitch. You know this. And so you need to take that deodorant and put that that, that Lumi Lume deodorant. I use that shit. I put that shit in my hand. Oh, baby powder. Mo, come on, cut the shit. I'm asking. That baby powder, the dot dot from the Dollar Tree. My fault. My fault. I was just asking. Bitch, I have a big ass, Mo. And so I have to make sure that my ass don't have that stuff going on. And so this why I, this is why I, okay, I'm gonna tell y'all secrets, okay? <laughs> this is why every time y'all smell me, I smell so good because this is why I layer mo. This is one of the reasons why I layer because I have I have excess body. So I layer. That's why I, I'm going to, that's why when people run me, they say, damn, you smell so good. You always smell so good. I layer because I have excess body and I have a fault fear of me taking off my bra and my motherfucking titties be musty. Or I pull my panties down and my ass, not only do I have, y'all know I'm the realest bitch walking. Not only do I have ass, I have nuts. You nut, Mo, you have nuts. I have nuts. I have nuts and I have a penis. 
And so if you hoes done been down there fucking with a nigga that got nut and I have lots of dick and stuff, you pull that motherfucking shit down on a big dick, it's gonna have a, a it's gonna have a blowback if they don't <laughs> if it's not cared cared for properly. It's gonna have a blowback. And that blowback can take you all the way back in time. You can go back at least five years. Because I have had a nigga pull his drawers down and I have went back in time at least five years. And said, damn! <laughs> nigga, you don't wash your nuts! Who would you like to call? <laughs> <laughs> now why this bitch in my conversation? <laughs> Just to confirm, you'd like to call Asia Best Mobile. No, nah, bitch, no. No, I not then. Who would you like to call? I don't need. I didn't ask for you. <laughs> this bitch all I'm about that. How this bitch got in my business? <laughs> How did this bitch just come over here in my business like this? <laughs> I don't know. I wasn't even talking to this right. hoe. You ain't say you ain't say hey Siri. Nothing. I said blow her ass is bitch, you can, <laughs> bitch Siri got nuts. I just said musty nuts and ass. Siri has nuts and ass. Cause that bitch just jumped in my conversation. Like, oh, you talking about me? That bitch felt the tap. Now, ladies, don't act like that you ain't never ran into no nigga that I'm talking about a big dick nigga too. Cause them big dick niggas shit be funky too. Them big dick niggas, well, you got to make sure. That's why you just can't suck a big dick straight out the pack. Nah, you got to put a towel on that. Or keep a baby wipe or something. You just can't pull no dick out and just, not a, not definitely not in 2022. Well, then how you going to be spontaneous? No you more. Yeah, well, you, 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 you know how you be spontaneous? Wipes. Baby wipes. You going to carry baby wipes? From the Dollar Tree. Because <laughs> it, ain't, cost it ain't my dick. Now wipe that shit out with some baby baby wipes and keep going. <laughs> wipe that motherfucker off with some baby wipes and keep going from the Dollar Tree. I'm telling you, don't act like that you ain't you hoes ain't never pulled no pants down and the fucking dick done came out. You know, and the shit done took your soul away. And the dick pretty and nice, but it done scared the shit out. The motherfucker, you like, damn, what this motherfucker been at? And you know niggas is nasty. He might have came from work, man. Yeah, working in another bitch pussy. <laughs> you know niggas is nasty. <laughs> you know for a fact that niggas is nasty. Nig a nigga was, man, a nigga stick his dick in your eye, bit not, no, mo. You come on, not nigga. You talking to a bitch who done been fucking? I'm forty five years old, nigga. I've been fucking a long ass time. I done seen niggas pull they whole dick and nuts out of my ass and pull their pants up and keep moving. <laughs> I seen it. Watch what they got home. All right. <laughs> I done seen this with my eyes. Because I done been there. <laughs> Bent all the way over, tore me up, pulled that dick out, and pulled them boxes right up over that shit. I'm like, hey, you don't want no towel. You don't need no. You don't want no towel. You don't want no rag or nothing. Nah, I'm, I'm not good. Hey. <laughs> That's what they say. I'm good. <laughs> no, you not, <laughs> nigga. Cause <laughs> the way you was hitting these guts, I know that I left a little residue on that. Oh. <sighs> So this is why I this is why I lather I, I this is why I motherfucking what's the word I, I, this is why I layer because I have that fear I have a phobia of that I rather you say I smell too good than say I stink I have a phobia of that because I have lots of body parts and I have a big ass I have a big ass. I remember the very first time that I ever went to Detroit back in the year 2000, the first plane ride I ever took. God, I told y'all this story a long time ago, and I don't mind telling y'all no motherfucking story, bitch, because I done been a lot. I done, been, I done lived on this earth. I done did a lot of things. I might be 45, but I've been here 100 years, goddamn it. I done did a lot of shit. I flew to Detroit 
from Miami. This was the year 2002. I was still living in Miami. I was actually living in, in uh, uh, Hollywood Square. And I, I was living at, living there, and I left to go to Detroit for the very first time. This was the year 2002. And I had on a gaff because I was, you know, all my street working bitches, y'all know where the gaff is. So I had on a gaff, and that gaff, I had put that gaff on, and I, that was my first time ever flying. I, had never, I didn't know anything about the airport. I didn't know anything about plane. I didn't know anything about nothing. That was my first time I ever flew. Bitch. So I had my gaff on all day. I was at the airport all day. Tucked. Bitch. I flew two hours. I think the flight was two hours and something. I flew two hours from Miami International Airport, bitch, to Detroit, Michigan. I got off of that motherfucking plane and I felt like, I, man, I had done peed and pooed it and all kind of shit. So I felt like, well, girl, you know, I, I got in the car with that man. That man was like, baby, take that dick out. I want to suck that dick right now. I said, baby, no, I don't want to do that. He said, baby, take that dick out right now. I want to suck that dick right now. Bitch, I let that motherfucker, and it was snowing, so you know it was cold outside. Bitch, I pulled that motherfucking gaff down. Bitch, that whole car smelled like, I don't know. It smelled like wet chicken. Chicken that, you know the chicken that you, when you done thaw chicken out from the grocery store, you done thaw that. It smelled like that, that meat from Food, from food Depot. <laughs> When I tell you the whole mood changed in the car, the man ain't want to suck the dick though. He just was like, mm, okay, we'll wait till we get to the house. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> we'll wait till we get to the house. His whole, so his whole mood changed. His whole mood changed. He said, we'll wait. We'll, we'll, wait. We'll, we'll, we'll wait till we get to the house. I'm not in that much of a rush. Right, but you want to suck it right there. I told you no. <laughs> Oh, Lord. Ever since then, I was so distraught about that happening to me because I have never put my... Well, I'm lying because I don't work the streets. <laughs> and I don't been working all night. And I don't pull that gaff up and down, up and down, up and down, <laughs> up and down, 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 up and down. And so that motherfucker that been musty, it may got a little poop on it, you know, never can tell. She up and down, up and down, sweating. You gotta know that if your gal back back in the day, back in the back in the ninety nine, two thousand, back in the day, if your gal was stank, you was gonna make a lot of money. It was just really? something, man. It was just something about the way, and I really believe that it was because they was me as dealing with other dicks. I really believe that because on them nights when my gaff was real stank, bitch, I make, I clean, man, I probably made about, about, a, about a band. And a thousand dollars back then on the street is a lot of fucking money. I remember when gas was 99 cents, but that's another story. I remember when gas was, I could take five dollars in my whole car and be full. <laughs> but up and down, gaff, G A F, that's how you spell a gaff. Somebody was asking. The gas. This is why you got to pres preserve your, your your transgender women who have lived from that from a time who have went through different times. I'm 45 years old. I have lots of stories. I have watched the world change. I have watched the business change. I have watched stuff change. I've watched things change. And so this is why you have to preserve the people who have watched the change and also have contributed to change, to change or whatever. And so I've seen it just go. So I could tell you stories of how, the, how shit was. Bro, I, I remember when gas was 90, 99 cents. This is why I respect the people who are still here, and I respect the elder folks that are here, and and the and the uh, the grown folks that are here that could tell the stories of how stuff was, even the way that that boys that men move. That men, you say David Banner said he liked it when it was funky. My God, who said? Wait, wait, wait. What? Did, did she say? 
Did the person say David Banner? Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh. It's a different world. Ooh, from where you come. Ah! Bitch, it's a different world now. Woo! Oh, he said that? Okay. Well, shit, I'm telling you, them, them, those nights when my gaff was staying, I'm telling you, bro, I made motherfucking a, a band. If you make a band in a night back then, bitch, you was a bitch, you was that girl. You got to realize that it was 24 a fuck, 24 a suck, 44 a fuck, and $60 for everything. Because gas was 99 cents back then. So you could take $2 and scratch that bitch a long ass time. Come on. Y'all said, what's a gaff? Yeah, oh, baby. Y'all wait till my, y'all hoes wait till my motherfucking docu- my, my, uh, my biopic comes out and it turns into series. And that like, bitch, and then we, we talk, we, we, when, when, when I get real graphic on the way that how things were or whatever, you gonna learn a lot of shit. You just wait. I can't wait. I cannot wait. My paperwork actually came over the other day. Oh, really? I don't like the numbers. <laughs> so my lawyer is doing it, is handling all that shit right now. I don't like the numbers. But we're going to get the numbers right. And when the numbers get right, then we're going to start. And when we start doing the shit that we're doing, then I'm going to be able to influence the world how I really supposed to. And the gag is, I don't want my name on it because I want people to motherfucking roll, roll up on it and be talking about, oh, this is a good ass show and don't know that it's, that it's really about all this shit about me. I want you to watch it. Mm-hmm. And I want you niggas to know Every nigga, even in this phase of my life, that has been a part of anything to do with my life, you are most definitely going to be a part of the docuseries. you just going to be another name, another alias, another something, because I need to, the world need to understand that even, even all those years ago. You say, how often did I buy a new gaff? No, baby, we made gaffs. We made gas out of stocking. Oh, you made, made gas out of stocking and jeans. A old, you use an old stocking, the top of an old stocking. You get it to go that's around that that uh that that fits your waist. You know how the stocking goes up on your waist, and you take a pair of jeans and you kind of measure the length and width of your penis, and then you uh you you pull it back and you put it's like a g-string. But it holds your nuts, your penis, and stuff like that. And this is why you can wear a G-string because it'll fit. A G-string will fit right over it, and it'll turn into a uh, it, like a G-string. And it, you know, you have it up all day, all night. I used to have gaff marks on my back, on my booty, like where the gaff. I wore the gaff so long. You see the, you can see the line, like it's like G-string marks, but it's, it's like where, where the circulation. From the stocking, the top of the stocking, then they have to cut the circulation off on your ass because you didn't have it on there all day. Uh, Robusta cap, you say you used to wear a gaff for drag. Hey, you know, I don't do all that shit no more. You get it how it is. Bitch, you pull these pants down, it's nuts there. I'm comfortable in my skin. I love myself, goddamn. Cozy. I'm real cozy this day. Who's talking about is this a. a Beyond Mo pay grade. No, Mo is fine. He likes her knowing about these stories. Because he may, you never know, he may run into a, a gaff one day and be like, hold on. I'm I'm fully versed in this. I know what this is. This is a gaff, bitch. Stop trying to fool me. <laughs> Show yourself. <laughs> Show yourself. All is revealed. Boom. Anyway, go ahead, Mo. Let's go. All right. Next we have. Oh, my God. 
Tomorrow my abortion baby Brie Day might put some put some on the grill. I don't know yet. You hoes going to jail. <laughs> Why you say they going to jail? Those bitches are killers. <laughs> you bitches go, like that going to jail. Yeah, I don't get it. Why you go to the club and let a man nut and you a did go to the boy she glitter today, sweet? Right. And then now you been talking about you celebrating his the, the... We'll put it back up. We, we, they move too fast. We need to read that. Okay. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. I love the way this bitch talk. <laughs> now, if this if my script was written like this, I can understand. <laughs> tomorrow, tomorrow my abortion be day. Might put some on the grill. I don't know yet. Really doing this. Come pick this bitch up. <laughs> this bitch is a murderer. <laughs> really, people really doing abortion be day. And I know that he knows about the that I am killing is to know that I am happy with some other guy. I can see him dying, and I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to be the reason why. I don't want to lie to the door. Something, something, something out inside. I don't want to be a murderer. Bitch, you a murderer! <laughs> you, <laughs> you murderous bitch! Right. No remorse. No Y'all say accidents happen, don't do that. There's such things as accidents that do happen, but you right. don't want to be down there to the club fucking a man on Friday and be down to the boys you cleared it three Fridays from now. That's just as bad as sitting up on more with 62 niggas somebody who you the daddy. I know for sure you the one. None of them. Is dead. None of them. <laughs> you still stay bitch. And then they run off the stage. And the you, be chasing after. Why are you running? Why are you running? Why? Why are you running? Girl, quit trying to find a daddy. Just take care of that fucking baby. <laughs> oh, Lord, dear Jesus. Yeah, that that's... Or take you some birth control. Just but take you some birth control. I've been, some, I've been hearing some women say that birth control. Uh, they say, well, my body, my choice. Yes, we understand that. My body, my choice. We, I'm all right with that. But that's, but don't go down there and keep having the kids just to board them. At least keep one of them down. That's true. That's true. Shit. You're going to be irresponsible like that. Take a pill. Take a pill. That's true, yeah. Don't be that the old child. Let me just go down here and get a abortion. Girl! Girl, really? Girl, let me just go down here, girl, and get an abortion. Mo, you mean every week? <laughs> you mean every single week, girl? Okay, girl, I have I had sympathy for you for the first three. Okay. Maybe the rubber bus. Maybe you was drunk. Maybe you got raped. But the but four and five and nine, like girl, come on. Like girl, take a pill. Put a fucking what's some thing you call that you put in your pussy? Uh uh, what do you call um what you put in your pussy? What do they call that thing? It's like a I know you, somebody, please, please. I, I can't remember the name of it. But it's based A diaphragm. A di that, yes. Put a diaphragm in you. Yes. Let the diaphragm catch the cum. You can still get the cum in you. Just let the cup, just let the cup catch it. <laughs> yeah. Well, God damn, every. Or be, or be like, a, be like some of these champions out here. Or swallow it, or put it, <laughs> girl, or just put it in your ass. <laughs> yeah, you definitely ain't getting uh, crazy like that. Open your ass up and let this nigga hit you in your ass. If you want to feel the, the, the sensation of the cum, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> if you want the watermelon seeds, god damn it, let the cup catch it. <laughs> You say, what about a cum dump? Let them have some birth control or plan D. 
Well, Humphrey's 11. What is Let me see what Humphrey's 11. Humphrey's 11. I never heard of Humphrey's 11. Oh, Mo, you don't know. You Did, did, did Miss Celia, you still a virgin? I guess so. You never heard of Humphrey's 11? No. Nope. I, honestly, I don't know things by names. <laughs> I don't know a lot of things by names. Take a Humphrey. <laughs> <clears throat> see, yeah, you see, Solo, no kid, no kid left behind. True, that's a true correct, Michelle. So, how many of y'all know anything about Humphreys Eleven? Let's how many of y'all know? All my ladies out there, because I know about, I know about Humphreys Eleven. Yeah, they look, said, they said, look, she did. Oh, she did? It was, it was, she did talk about Humphreys, but I learned about Humphreys. You see, look, look, look. There's some people saying that they don't. Look, no. Well, I may, I, well, I may be helping somebody out out there who's about to make a bet. To Humphreys 11. Humphreys 11. Thank you, Tracy. You never heard of it, Sky 25? Humphreys 11. Never heard of it. You say you 51 blessing book and you is new to you? Humphreys 11. And I don't even have a lot of people saying that they never heard of it. I don't even have a pussy and I know about Humphreys 11. So wait, so what it so what does it do? Like what is it? Honey. <laughs> Kill that baby, that baby. <laughs> I've been around here a long time and I don't hung around some trifling bitches. Trifling bitches. I don't Humphreys eleven. I done been around some trifling. I don't niggas done been to baby showers that ain't got nothing to do with them. <laughs> I done been down to the abortion clinic nine times out of the damn week from nine different niggas that they know and, and, and <sighs> And let me tell you, bitch, if you tell me, you don't know nothing about being a woman. Oh, yes, I do. Oh, yes, I do. I know the ins and outs. I may not have the experience on, on, the, on the vaginal part of it and, and stuff like that, but I have been in the dough. I have, I have learned. I have learned the rawness. I have learned the good, the bad, and the ugly. And I have seen it all. That I don't been like, bitch, Really? Because I got, I'm their faggot friend. I'm their punk friend. So I done been rolling with them when they doing this shit that I ain't got nothing doing. Yeah, you know, I mean, you said maybe they only sold. No, Humphreys was sold. No, look, him talked about Humphreys. She talked about Humphreys in one of her songs. They said Humphreys was used for white. Or teeth, teething too. It definitely killed the baby if necessary. Oh snap! No, not Humphrey Bogart. Humphrey's Sonny. It yeah. definitely took a baby out. Is this it? <laughs> That's it. Let me see. <laughs> Oh, yes. That's it? That's the one. Damn. You say you're from Nolan. None of your friends have ever heard, said anything about it. Well, at, at, well, well, well baby, look around. Cause it would definitely kill, kill that baby, that baby ain't my kid. Kill that baby, that baby ain't my kill that baby, that baby ain't my kid. Keep. I said it, it, it killed it in twenty four hours. Yes. Humphreys eleven. You about to see they uh. Bitch, I'm vastly full of knowledge. I'm va I'm full of street knowledge, bitch. Vastly full of street knowledge. 
They need to not do that. <laughs> put on you, put you, put you, put your diaphragm in there. <laughs> <laughs> put your diaphragm in there, girl. Wear your rubbers, swallow the nut, put it in your ass. Right. Now, if it's an accident, okay. If it's an accident, I. Sometimes accident can happen twice. Mo, how many car accidents you done been in? <laughs> how many car? <laughs> For real? For really? Uh, let me see. Since I met you? Yes. Oh, oh shit. Since you done met me? Okay, since, so. Since, since I met you, I would say. But they weren't my fault, though. But I would say. Uh, oh, oh, you said they took it out. Okay, Jeremy. I'll say three. I'll say three. Three. Okay. Well, we give the ladies three accidents. <laughs> After that, you girls is running dead into traffic, girl. <laughs> You said they took it off the mark? Yes, because it would kill a baby. Oh, wow. Yes, girl, it would, it would terminate a pregnancy. So what, did they just like, what did they, like, how, what, you just stuck it, stuck it up there? No, you, no, that's a, no, now they were doing that too. I remember, ooh, I remember when I was in high school, uh, one, of, one of my classmates, she died, abort, trying to kill her, trying to abort her baby. The baby was in, was, was she was pregnant. Mm-hmm. She stuck a hanger in her. Oh. And she was trying to kill, she was trying to abort the baby herself. And she died. We were in school. I was just like, bro. Yeah, so we just called it wire hands. Mm-hmm. Uh, Ms. Wright said you could only see Ms. Wright know. Ms. Wright said you could only find it at the drug at the drugstore. Yeah. And so, you know, I learned this stuff. I, it's a lot of things I learned from women. I learned lots of things from females. Learned, learned. From hanging around, growing up, seeing this with my eyes, going on runs with the girls. So, you know, I don't have vaginal experience, but I definitely have experiences in being, in being, you know, a woman with stuff. Like I definitely have that experience. So, you know, I I don't ha- I don't know I don't have I don't know the uh, the 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 ins and outs of menstrual cycle. And I don't know that. I don't know uh, uh, the ins and outs of, of, of giving birth. I don't know that, but you know, I know lots of other things that I've witnessed or I've been around, I've been in close proximity with or done, done assisted with, you know, like, Oh, okay. You know, but whatever. Anyway, but that used to be before that. Before that, well, what is a Plan B? Is Plan does Plan B get rid of it? Uh, but that's Plan B. I think you have to use that within the first forty-eight hours of having sex. Well, that was Humphreys eleven. That was Humphreys. Did you? That was definitely what Humphreys eleven gave. The baby was going to be dead. Whatever happened, the baby was going to be gone from that Humphreys 11. It was out of there. In that, that bottle, it looked like, it looked like, you know, um, what did they call it? Uh, icy hot? It looked like an icy hot bottle. Bitch. <laughs> like, I was, I was just looking at it like an icy hot bottle. I was like, Lord. Let me see what it about. Let me look at uh, it. I, I ain't got no kids, man. How many Humphreys you done ran into, Bo? I'm saying what your what one of your uh uh fans said. Uh Morris Canvas said, Maddie, tell my baby daddy Mo, come pick up his kids. I'm tired. I love y'all. I ain't got no kids. Mo, you not finna do this. I don't have no kids. You're not finna have no child to sue me. You not finna have no child to sue me. <laughs> I'm childless. I don't got no kids. Y'all don't sue me because I ain't got nothing to do with it. <laughs> you getting a vasectomy? No, no. Um, Alyssa said, uh, Asmo on his opinion on vasectomies, will he consider it? I wouldn't consider getting a vasectomy myself. 
Plus, I mean, you can still. Mo, have you ever been nutting and your and, and somebody been licking your nuts at the same time while you was coming? Baby, the first time that ever happened to me, I thought I was gone. Yeah. I thought it was going to take my body away to the morgue after that because I was. <gasps> <gasps> Did you have that same experience? The first time? Yeah. I was like. And then and then they still want to. Uh, they still want to. I'm, they still want to give you head while after. Mm -mm, see, that's not an experience, bitch. No, no, I'm saying like they would do that. But that's not an experience, person. Why do you say that? Because I had got my first time. My that my first experience was that when that happened to me, mm -hmm. it was an experienced man that did that to me. Because I was giving him some head. He said, "Hold it, hold, hold up, no, baby, lay back. Let me show you how it's done." I said, "Oh," and then he went. And and right when I was getting ready to motherfucking goddamn Geo, I went to going, honey. And then he just got up in there, got those nuts. And... It was one of those experiences that I that I could really wish. Now, if I could travel back in time and just have that same experience, that not that, per, but just that feeling. Uh -huh. That's if drugs is like that, I see why them hoes addicted. <laughs> just. And you don't suck the dick no more. You just let the you let the come come out, but you just it's the it's oh my god, Father God, fellas, if you've never had it done, make sure your trade do this to you. And if you want to do this, if you want to really keep your trade mind fucked up, do this to your trade. This shit happened to me years and years ago, and I'm still thinking about it. Still like golly, and ain't never really happened like that again. Never. Because the nuts is real sensitive. So you got to be careful the way you touch the nuts. For those of you who don't have nuts. Right, Mo? Yeah. You got to be careful the way, because you could tap the nuts the wrong way. You'd be like, oh, shit. <laughs> you could put your drawers on the wrong way and hit them nuts the wrong way. You'd be like, oh, fuck. So when you actually ejaculating, you said, would that be in the Bible? Yes. <laughs> when you actually ejaculate it and, and the, a person has the, the pee, and a lot of you hold, let me teach y'all, let me tell y'all ladies something. A lot of ladies. Yeah, concentrate on that tip. No, no. Don't. The, that should be annoying. Yeah, go cross the tip. Right. But don't stay on, don't stay there. No, don't be doing this to the tip. Don't be with the tip. Now, it's some, that, it's some men like that. They like that since that shit, because they, really, they be jumping and jerking and shit. But if you go past that tip and stay kind of right there in the middle, mm -hmm. right there in the middle, because the tip feeling all of that, and you rolling your, if you got good mouth work, and you rolling that tongue around right up under there, honey. You know that, and you got the, you got the balls down there. You got them, and the, the balls with it. You're not doing, you're not overly doing this to the balls unless a man like that. Because there are some men who like rough activity around the balls. But if you got the caressing, it'll be one of those situations. It'll be like you don't put witchcraft on them. Oh God, huh? Oh. <laughs> Oh, oh, ain't nothing even out here. Oh, 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 God. Why you got that sounding like a, a, a walrus? Because that's what it be. Oh, 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 God. Oh, my God. Help me, Jesus. Oh, they're ghosts now. Oh. oh. <laughs> Maurice Collins said, I feel attacked. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You know when them eyes open, they looking at you. Oh. 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 
because it's their feelings get ready to come out. It's but it's like being rescued from a car accident. And you stuck in the car, you got it, you want to get out. Oh, it's like a, a pressure release. Oh, oh. Help. Like, <laughs> like you got a motherfucker. <laughs> like you got a one of them things that you put you in the throat. You can't tell. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. I'm telling you. Somebody put back down memory lane. You whores. <laughs> All right, boy, let's go to this next thing. Oh, okay, the next one we have. A teen boy hit my daughter at school. We had a parents conference. We saw the boy's dad. It was love. We had sex. I convinced my daughter not to press charges. Her face will heal. Dad ghosted me. His son teased my daughter. He, he fucked your mom to drop charges. No. Damn. Got he! Damn. Got he! I tell you hoes all the time. That's fucked up. I tell you hoes all the time. Smart, but fucked up. Y'all tell you bitches this shit all the time. If you don't want to leave anything to that motherfucking goddamn predator plaques, grid motherfucking bald and patches ass, sweet pickles bus driving ass motherfucking whole say, you put your trust in a nigga. Stupid whore, how you feel? If that bitch ain't never wrote a paragraph, that bitch wrote that paragraph. You, I tell y'all this all the motherfucking time. If I don't never, if you don't believe anything that bitch say, believe that. You put your trust in a nickel. Stupid who how you feel? Maybe he couldn't afford to deal with the consequences of his son's actions. So he did the best thing he could do. Put that back up there more. Let me read that. She might well just go on down and she don't need no help. <laughs> you might well go and let that shit go. Your pussy done got dug up. Your lighter just suck. Your son's ass was be all oh, right. Your, so your daughter's ass. Your daughter's eye black. Okay. <laughs> Fuck it. Put it back up there, Mo. Okay, there you go. I convinced my daughter not to press charges. Her face will heal. Then dad goes. <laughs> Now, if you really want to get that nigga back, uh, do a Lynn Whitfield on him between the thin line. Go in there and put your arm in the closet, bitch. Really? Go in there and put your arm in the picture, slam the door on your arm. <laughs> Take your three oranges and put them in a the mother. Put, put, put some soap in the sock, bitch, and bust your ass in the face. <laughs> really, man? A lot of you bitches guilty of putting these men before your children as it is. A lot of y'all bitches guilty of that. God gonna get you for that in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> you may make it to heaven, bitch, but your crown ain't gonna be nice. <laughs> <laughs> for that shit you hold. You put your motherfucking nigga in front of your kids, bitch. You put your niggas in front of your kids, bitch. God is not gonna put no diamonds in your crown when you get to heaven. <laughs> He probably gonna have your ass standing outside the club, gonna let all the VIPs in all day. <laughs> you gonna be standing out there. You may make it in because you might have repeated it, bitch. But you gonna stand outside and your crowd gonna be real little because you put that nigga in front of your motherfucking children. Miss Seeley said it best. You better walk Mister the head and think about heaven later. <laughs> Let's go, Mo. Okay. Uh, next we have but oh, I can't see it because it's blocked. But it says I'm trying to see what it says. It says mother should what did it say? Was it attack? Sh oh shocked. Oh, okay. Shot after ex-husband left her for his, left her for her daughter once she turned 18. Oh sh daughter then became pregnant with man's child. Oh wow. News flash for the 18 year old daughter. Oh, wow. Whatever he did with you, bitch, he gonna do to you. 
So that baby in your stomach, be ye also ready, thus saith the Lord. But she shot him, but did he die? Shot him? What did he say shot? Right, is that what you said? Or what did it say? She was shocked. Oh, shocked. I think he said shocked. Why? Why is you shocked? Why? Why? Why are you shocked at the activity of a man? Why are you shocked? What is it that they tell you that you believe so? What is it? Somebody, look, somebody look, get. I'm not blind. Look, there's something in the way on my screen that somebody I get CPS on the line. <laughs> somebody get child protective services, services on the line because that baby that's coming out is in danger. What's up, Tammy? Girl, you just not getting on here, girl. Operator, get my baby on the line. Cause just the other night we had a horrible fight. I admit that I, I was out of control, but I still love my man. Oh, and my body and soul. Oh. <coughs> Scrain that nigga up by his nutsack. <laughs> And put that hoe up under there. Put that little girl, put, put that bitch up under the nutsack while he's strained up. You got to be a dirty bitch to go against your blood for mud. You got to be a dirty motherfucker. You got to be a dirty bitch to go against your blood for mud. People doing that every day now, man. There are a lot of people doing that. Like, like, I don't got no respect for that daughter. And that's why that baby gonna come out and fuck her husband. Go ahead, Mo. All right. Next we have, things were good in our relationship until her six-year-old son came to live with us. His father kicked him out. He's disrespectful and destructive. He stabbed, wait, what did he say? He stabbed all my, is that say stabbed? All my shoes found in his history search i mean a search history on his laptop how to kill a fat man <laughs> i'm a fat man advice oh yeah you know y'all they need to put that that kid up uh, wait a minute the kid already on google somebody how to kill a fat man yeah and he's that fat man <laughs> and he's that fat man nigga you better ain't no pussy that good you better go <laughs> nigga you better get the fuck asap after that <laughs> When you when y'all found that little boy Google's history, <laughs> and that little motherfucker nigga said he wanted to kill a fat man, well you better get the fuck out. You won't be watching TV. Why y'all don't watch TV? <laughs> right, little Timmy fed up, and, and he fed up with your fat ass. <laughs> nigga, get off my mama. You being that smothering my mama. <laughs> the fact that he said. He saw in his search history how to kill, how to a, kill a not just how to kill a man, how to kill, kill a, a fat man. man. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my I goodness. shall never cry. <laughs> Nigga, that's what you need to be trying to. If you gonna stay with that woman, you might as well write your own will out. You might as well write your own funeral. When it's all over, yeah, I shall wear a crown, bitch. I'm telling you. Come on, Mo. That's my advice to him. He's six years old. Man. Six. Six. Googling how to kill a fat man. Yes. Serial killer already. <laughs> he need to be Googling where was where is your daddy? <laughs> is your daddy a fat man too? <laughs> you know what? You might be right. That might be for him because you know it did say that the dad kicked him out because he's disrespectful. Yeah, where is your daddy? Is the daddy is the, is, the, is the daddy still alive? He might have kicked you out, but bitch, did you leave a little something? <laughs> I told you I was putting a strict nine out there for them dogs and cats, bitch. Did he leave a strict nine on your cereal? <laughs> when it's all over, yeah, I shall wear a crown. That nigga is going to be dead in the morning. <laughs> What's the next thing? All right, next we have, and I believe this is the last. 
No, we did that. Oh, no, we did that. So, yeah, that, that was actually it, man. It yeah. was. Yeah, that was that it. That was it. That was it. That was it. Oh. Yeah, we don't got nothing else. Oh, y'all, that was it. <laughs> y'all, that was it. That was it. A little pleuro nine. A little nine. That was it, y'all. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we've had a wonderful day. Because we're coming to the end. We'll be back, though. Yeah. <laughs> but not today. <laughs> Somebody said, how do you get locked jaws? Girl, you get locked jaws from eating the dick for a long time, eating that cocaine, cocaine dick. Oh, you say Ashanti should have made it. Well, let's do an honorable mention. Ashanti and Irv what got happened it. What happened with Ashanti? Irv got it was down there saying, like, she mad because, not mad, but, you know, she just addressed that, you know, Irv got it been saying that he fucked her. But it's like, girl. We know all y'all be fucking. We know this. We've been at home knowing that all y'all been fucking and stuff like that. That's true. So, Irv Gotti is late for that. <laughs> he late for doing that. You ain't fucking her now. And I, I believe he was married. Was he married when they, when they, when they were there? Probably so. What a marriage license. What, what does a marriage got to do with anything? Allegedly. What does a marriage have to do with anything? I think niggas who fucking tell is pussy. Well, well, I did see that interview though, Maddie. And the way he was saying it wasn't like he was. It wasn't like he was saying. It wasn't the way he was saying it wasn't in a bragging way. It was like he really was into Ashanti. But well, I think he was like he was like he was like really into Ashanti. Like he was like willing to give up everything for her. That's how. That's how. That's how it seemed. It was. Uh, Oh. He was talking, but okay. You ate. It was good today. Mo, I cooked the meatloaf yesterday. Oh, you did. I cooked the meatloaf, rice, cabbage. You want some? Yeah, I'll take some. I'll take some. Meatloaf, rice, cabbage, macaroni and cheese. I could actually send a pan of macaroni and cheese home with you. You want? You like macaroni, Mo? Well, you know, I, I can't eat a lot of cheese. I think I'm lactose. I think I told you. I think I'm lactose intolerant. What happened when you eat macaroni? Uh, no, what happened when I eat cheese or any type of dairy product? That's the question. Yeah. The only, I only risk it for one thing, and that's that Chick Fil A uh, milkshake. That's the only thing I risk. I risk. Okay. Well, see, here's the thing. Let's not let's not do that. Okay, because you have to understand. Thank you, thank you, Morris. Let's do. Because we're the only people that eat um, other animals' milk. Right. We ain't supposed to be eating no motherfucking cow You're right. milk. You're right. Bitch, why we ain't sucking each other milk? <laughs> we go to the cow. Well, we would have to go to a pregnant woman and ask for that well, milk. But, but you see the men... <laughs> The titties still swell up after you take your Humphreys. <laughs> the body just getting ready to have a baby. <laughs> the cows be out there. You, we, you, so we all our stomach be tore up anyway. Yeah, yeah. From eating that. But I'm gonna eat my macaroni cheese. So you don't want your pan of macaroni but cheese? I can't eat. I can't take the whole pan. I'm gonna take some with me. Because if I take it with me, then I have to, then I'm going to eat it, and then I'm going to be on the toilet for about a good two, three days. It take two, three days for it to come out your mouth. Man, you said you were to give me a pan. So that means you're going to constantly eat it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I can't afford to be on the toilet half of the day, man. No, you can't, because you need to, and you can't come over here and be on the toilet. <laughs> And I let you slide a few times, nigga. But you better make sure you use the toilet before you get here, Yoko. Man, I don't. Want, sometimes I don't. Want, a lot of times I don't want to be late for work, man. 
And so you just come, his guts already ready. <laughs> you say, I'm just gonna leave it here. <laughs> Shit, I'm just gonna leave it here. <laughs> just nasty. It's not nasty. At least, look, at least I try my best not to let you know what's happening. When it happened. Well, you go to that, man. When you, you instead of going to this <laughs> one over here in the corner. <laughs> no, I only go to one upstairs when you down here. Oh, you don't go to this one while I'm down here? Nah, nah. I'm not going over there to use that bathroom, though. <laughs> when I see you walk up good over there, open that door and go, I'm, so I'm just, just a word to the wife. I'm not going over there and use that bathroom in there, boy. And I think you done went in there and close. Especially when you done went there, when you done went there close this door to go to that one to close that door, I already know what's going on. I know these things already. Now, I will use that bathroom upstairs when I come from upstairs. I'm like, nigga, you done been in this. You done been in this bathroom. Because you already be down here, so I'll be like, you know what? Nah, go to this one. I won't hear nothing. <laughs> I won't hear a thing. Just close the fucking door. The fan loud of that bitch. I won't hear nothing. You be trying to stop. And turn on. Don't that toilet got one of them? Oh. Have you ever used the bidet I got in there, Mo? No. You never used the bidet? I got a bidet. Mm -hmm. In there, too, up there. No, I've never used it. You just turn it on. It'll shoot the water in your asshole. And wash your asshole out. Because I, 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 I'm... Cause Are you scared of a bidet? No, 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 no. Because when, when I was in Nigeria, what I used to do when I was in Nigeria, I would, I would get tissue, but I would, I would put it, I would get water. Get up, use a bidet. I would get water and wet the tissue. So that you know, it, it keeps streaks at the at the draw. Yeah. Right. But use the bidet. I got that's what I got the bidet up there for. Use the bidet. Ain't nothing wrong with this. What I'm trying to. Well, I'm just never. I need. I, I know, never but this. Uh, but it's good that you open to it, because there's a lot of men that's not open to using the bidet, and they and they assholes be right there. <laughs> you have your asshole is not a great place. <laughs> Use the things in place when you sit down and you open your ass, because I. I have a my ass takes over the toilet seat mode. <laughs> so I have to lean forward and put my arm back and turn the bidet on. And then I take the sides of my ass and I lift it up like this. And I just let it, I just sit there for a few and just let it just this jet streams on the ass. So. No, I gotta clean my behind. Because if I, because if if I don't, especially like let's just say I do use the bathroom and I wipe myself and I don't feel like I did a good job, I have to go back because I be like, I just don't feel, I don't feel and that also contributes to the funk when the pants come down. That's that that's the smell come from the back to the front and the nuts. It's a lot of stuff. <laughs> Wait, Jamie said, Mo, when you hit the feel the water hit that magic place, you squeal two or three octaves high. Just enjoy the feeling. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna gift you, because I didn't get you nothing for your birthday except a, little, a couple of dollars. I'm gonna gift you a bidet. Really? Yeah. It's gonna really, you're gonna, if you just install it on your toilet, uh -huh. you'll be in that feeling, you'll be like, shit, I feel mighty fine after you. <laughs> It'll give you the confidence to wear white drawers all the time. <laughs> you niggas that don't have no bidet in your house, please, please, please don't wear white drawers. <laughs> Keep you some colored drawers. I wear, I wear a box of briefs anyway, so. Don't wear, well, listen, Mo, you are right. Just don't, don't wear no white drawers. No, I don't. I don't wear anything white. No. Don't Except, do it. Yeah, no white underwear. Mm -mm, don't wear no white underwear. You got to have the confidence, a real confidence of wear some white underwear. I could. I just don't. Ain't nothing wrong with me. That's right. It's okay. But you know, accidents does does. Happen. How many car accidents you done been in since you don't know? <laughs> accidents can't happen, especially if you eat the wrong shit. Now we know all of us over here on this thing before I go can, can attest to be to, for, to, to not being able to make it all the way home. All of us. I don't know how that work, but listen. A lot of us out here in these conversations can attest uh -huh. to not being able to make it home or make it in the house all the way before it doesn't happen. <laughs> we can all attest to the BG, to the bubble guts that hit us by asking, you be like, oh shit! Ah! 
at, at least we if you have it happen, if you have it happen, it will happen, it will happen. In, in your lifetime. <laughs> That you gonna have a bridesmaid moment? Well, you remember in the movie Bridesmaid when they was a them motherfuckers? That lady ran out there. And she just said, "Oh, oh, oh this is happening! Oh, this is happening! This is happening! Oh, it's happening! Oh, shit!" And, 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 and your wedding dress, you just gonna shit right here in the middle of the street, just like this. Right here in the middle of the street, you just gonna flush. She said, "Oh God, here it is! Oh shit! Ooh, ooh, you know." It doesn't happen to the best of us. You couldn't make it away. They said I wouldn't make it. They said I wouldn't be here when we today. Get tired, when you get old enough, and you you started off wearing diapers. You go back to wearing diapers. So by putting the closer you get to the toilet, the quicker it comes. Yes. Oh yeah. Baby, I remember one time, baby. I don't know what it was. What one of the medicines I had took, bitch, from something, bitch. I I think they were trying to adjust my blood pressure medicines or something, because bitch. They was trying to adjust it, and I had um I was peeing like like well even though that little pink pee, pee, pill I pee, man, bro, <laughs> it was like water, like water, like it was like I had ate like it was just like soup, and I was trying to get to the house. I was trying to get the puddle. My God, no! I, I just threw the clothes away. <laughs> I ain't even try to wash them. I just ball them up and threw them bitches in the garbage. Like, yeah, you no good no more. Yeah, ain't no good, you know. Oh my god! Oh my god! That's just ridiculous. I just you just throw throw them away. Just throw them away. Met for me. <laughs> Oh my God, bitch! Yo, bitch, you be it, it just be you be like, girl, what is going on? All right, it's five, y'all. I gotta get down here and take my COVID test for these folks. Uh, I think I'm gonna wait about to about seven because I'm gonna be somewhere anyway. I'm going to see tonight. I'm going to watch um, uh, Black, Black Adam. Adam. I heard good. I heard good things about. It. I didn't. You did? No, I just heard that Henry Henry Cavill is back as Superman. Really? Yes, he makes an he makes a car a cameo appearance. In the Black Adam. Yeah, because I think they're supposed to fight. They're supposed to vert. You know, they've always had like this little tussle. Thing. Yeah, and so, um, yeah, I'm going to see that tonight at a nice at a nice location. You know, and um, yeah, I'm excited to see Black Adam. Yeah, because I haven't had the opportunity like really, but I need to hurry up and get back home after because they call me this. Mo, do you know I, shit? Right after my birthday, Mo, uh -huh. I had to get up at be eight o'clock in the morning. The next morning, I had to be there at eight a.m. Even though I did get there at eight thirty-four, I had to be there at eight a.m. I had to take COVID tests and all this kind of shit. But I was so tired of it, and they kept me all. Oh. Well, I didn't get off until uh, 1.30 the next morning. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. I thought you were going to say like 8 o'clock that evening. Oh, no. I was 8 o'clock that morning until 1.30 the next morning. All day. Uh, Bati boy, you said Black Adam was good for what it was. Okay. Mm. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what I do need for you guys to do is make sure that you get your subscription to Wild Presents Plus um, because um, I have my show, Bring Back My Girls in. Oh, you deleted the flyer. I did. No, here it is. Your Wild Presents Plus. Um, my new show, Bring Back My Girls. Um, I'm going to be posting some little clips from it. Um, it's only $4.99 a month, $49 for a year. Um, and I think you guys need to go ahead on and get it because there are some surprises coming to Wow Presents Plus and stuff like that. They have things to do with T.S. Madison. But Bring Back My Girls is good. I sat and watched it on the TV yesterday. I was very, very proud of myself for looking at myself, you know, on... Uh, I always be proud. <laughs> Watching that shit, I always be proud. I might need to take a little nap. Mm hmm um, the second episode is uh oh goalies. Craig Lane said no goalies today. I actually ate. 
you know I'm going for the skin. That's how my skin is radiating and glowing. Radiating and glowing. And you said, yes, this makeup. I did my makeup today myself. I only put on a little, I put on some, a little base and a little powder and a lipstick. I don't got some lashes. I don't have nothing else on. But like, oh, more you want one of these? This has been keeping your skin so dark here and clear. Why are you, why are you doing this? Mo, you can't reach over here and get these goalies. If you're going to keep stretching it across, I mean, keep taking it away. I'm trying to put it, put your hand over here where you'll get it. <laughs> Put your hand in there, mother. Pull the damn stuff out. Quit acting funny, now. Y'all be acting funny. Golly. <laughs> Make sure you run down to www.goaliegummy.com. Use my code TS Madison Hinton, please, and get your goalies. This stuff help. This stuff really does help with your skin. Like I do notice a difference when I use it with my skin. And Mo, you know, I tell y'all all the time this helps with with, with thick semen. I'll take four of these. <laughs> mm. 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 Okay, I'll just take two. <laughs> come on, Mo. Mo, come on now. You know you want this. Okay. <laughs> Come on now, shit, we gotta go. I ain't going. Yes, it's the see. I, ooh, shit. It's stuck. Ladies, no, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> if it's stuck in your walls, ladies, <laughs> you got those African hands. <laughs> These two are my favorite. The ashwagandha, the ashwagandhas, and the uh, super fruits. These two are my favorite, and of course, you guys know that I already take the regular goalie gummies. It's so hard for me to get the top off. Mm. Oh. I wouldn't give anything to you that I wouldn't give myself. <laughs> there they go. Um, www.goaliegummies.com and um, use my code TS Madison Hinton um, and you're going to get a large percentage off. Y'all know these bitches is like $30 a bottle. Y'all know this. You might as well go on and get the ones because they're going to come in a box like this when you get the uh, when you order the pack they're going to come in a box like this. Damn, I got a super food level. I eat these shits all day, mom. These super food. And then them super foods is the one. You know, you stay mad and say, Daz Vadan, you bitch. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I love you guys and I will talk with you. I know I work tomorrow. What's tomorrow? Tomorrow is Thursday. Yeah. I'm work tomorrow. I think I think I wrap tomorrow. Okay. I think, Mo, don't don't quote me. So I work tomorrow. So I won't see you guys tomorrow. What's Friday's day? Friday is the 28th. Friday's the 28th. Yeah. I'm going to Monique, I was, which I was talking to you guys about earlier today. I'm going to Monique's taping for her Netflix special, which is amazing that she's having that. Like, and I feel so good to be a part of that full circle moment, you know, where she's where she's going to be like, bro, like she came out tearing Netflix up and Tyler Perry and um, Lee Dez and Monique. And now, um, excuse me, and um, Oprah. And now she has her special. She said on my show, like, it's just so much stuff that I feel really, really good really, really good about. Um, you said we need a Halloween show. We will be having a Halloween show because I will be in full regalia. <laughs> do they know what you... They, they, they don't know. They just oh. got to wait to see. Oh. They got to wait to see. I am going to be dressed up this year for Halloween. I know you guys remember that that year that I did Ursula. Who knows? I might... So you did Ursula before? I did. I did Ursula one year. Who knows? I might be revisiting that. Who knows? You know, but you guys, we're going to have a Halloween show. Bring your best costumes. 
I'm hoping that um, I got an invite to a party that I, I will tell you guys about once I um, confirm that I'm going to that party. Um, and um, yeah, I'm just going to look really, I'm just going to be, I'm really excited for my costume because I, I, I really got into it. We're going to take lots of pictures and stuff. Mo, are you dressing up for Halloween? They want to know. I didn't really think about dressing up, but I may. I just have to come up with a costume. I got one. What? <laughs> what's your idea? What's your idea? Satan. <laughs> Satan. Really? That, that's what you. That's what you think. That's what you think. I don't know. I don't know. They say black cancer. I did say. Mo, 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 tell him. Mo, tell him what I did to you the other day. Tell him. <laughs> <laughs> I call Mo on the phone. Her, she'd get her, uh, her costume together. And then she was uh, online searching for stuff for her costume. She saw a black panther mask and she said she was going to get that for me for uh, <laughs> Halloween. <laughs> I said, Mo, this is it! I am the Black Panther. The Black Panther. Wakanda. Wakanda forever. Oh, and the movie's coming out soon. November 11th. I cannot wait. Yeah, I'm ready for that too. I cannot wait. It's gonna I, as every time I watch the commercial for it, I get really emotional. Like I, I don't know why I get emotional. Like I, I'll be filled with. Because of uh, Yeah, I'll be filled with so much, so much emotions. Like when I watch it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They put Mandingo Mo. <laughs> Y'all tell me to go as Janet from Poetic Jess. No Mo can go as Janet from Poetic because he already got the hair locked in. I really. I ha- I don't have the body of uh, a woman. We have yet to see you naked, so we don't know that yet. I know that fat ass nigga from over there, that fifty one fifty dude, <laughs> fat sour ass fucking nigga. I know that ugly motherfucker got a body of a motherfucking fat bitch, <laughs> bitch over there trying to talk about his manhood won't be his motherfucking masculinity won't be trying to shape like Lizzo, bitch, a beat up version of Lizzo. <laughs> That nigga better find his dick and play with it and stop playing with me. <laughs> Especially telling me what another nigga will do to me. Bitch, please. I'll, I'll put, I will apply so much pressure on you, bitch. See, I was, I was, I used to be one of them kind of girls. Uh-huh. I would apply pressure. When a bitch say they'll do this, I'm going to apply so much pressure because I need to pull your whole card. I'm going to apply pressure to you, nigga. You keep on talking out. Bitch, talking. Talking, 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 talking. <laughs> you right up my motherfucking alley, bitch. Anyway, I love y'all. <laughs> the way you just go in and out. Because I be thinking about it, it just hit me. You see that Roger Wood sausage box finger having ass bitch with someone set the fuck down with her motherfucking goddamn <laughs> e- E.C. Miyake thoke having ass bitch. Went somewhere and started a Michelin Thai man built ass bitch. Went somewhere because I told that bitch, okay, so bitch, since we doing tip for since we making money off of each off of names, bitch, I'ma frown, I'ma lay on, I'ma lean on your motherfucking goddamn Jimmy Dean sausage back ass bitch. I'ma lean on your ass too, bitch. I'ma lean on you, bitch. I'm finna motherfucker do a some time in our lives. We all have bitches <laughs> that be on borrow, but if we are wise, bitch, you would think about tomorrow. <laughs> bitch, I'm going to lead on that motherfucking hoe, bitch. I meant that. Oh, I meant motherfucking that, bitch. I meant that, mo. I meant that. Bitch, we not finna sit up here all day with this bullshit all week, every day, all day. I meant that, bitch. You okay? So we gon' this how we gonna do it. We gonna distort videos. We gonna distort photographs. I'm gonna do this shit to you every day. We gonna do do one to other. The book says so. Hey, e, b, 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 shabama, do unto others as you have them do unto you. So, bitch, when I ain't busy, I'm finna stand on your neck, too, you motherfucking triple dick heaven ass motherfucker. I'm standing on your shit, too. 
I'm standing on your neck too, bitch. I'm standing on your. You see, I you see that motherfucker went on by her business. I went on by mine. <laughs> bitch, you showed to my door. I'm showing up to yours. I have one, Aaron. Yes, <laughs> I have. But I'm just saying. Well, you see, we do you see a bitch went on and started mining nails. That's all. I don't. I don't bother with nobody. It was the knuckles. It was the knuckles. <laughs> Grandma's hand. It was the knuckles and that motherfucking goddamn that cheetah print ugly ass cheetah print ass dress with the fucking that blow out that bitch head at the top of her head, bitch. I went right back to that. Okay, ho, this what we doing? Okay, well, let's do it. Shit, I'm off. Let's see. <laughs> now, wake up tomorrow to be another motherfucking thing. You say, show them y'all the hands. I think Mo deleted it. He said he tired of the problems that that stuff caused. <laughs> he deleted it. It's best that he did. Because you would not let it go. No, I'm not. <laughs> but we could take a gander at what the bitch really look like. That's how that bitch be in my business. That's just how that bitch be in my business. Well, why the eyes really look like, oh shit, what's going on? Right. That's how that be, that's how it be when the mob roll up on that motherfucking goddamn eight. Anyway, I love y'all. I talk with y'all later on. Oh, oh, my package is on the way. What's delivered to my boy? That was six minutes ago. All right, I got the pee, y'all. I love y'all. See y'all later. Bye. Hey, everybody. This is T.S. Madison. And if you are trying to grow your business, brand, or product, why not advertise with me? Email me at booktsmadison at gmail.com so that you can get in on our comprehensive advertisement packages. Unique visits, unique subscribers, honey, a broad demographic. Advertise with me today. Quit talking and listen. Get over to my Patreon right now so that you can receive some exclusive content from the TS herself. Who you said? The TS. Patreon is filled with one-on-one -on -one exclusive content behind the scenes. You can even chat with me in there. Me and you. It's just me and you. So get to www.patreon.com forward slash T.S. Madison Hinton, and you'll be glad you did. I promise. This has been a T.S. Madison and RDE Multimedia Group presentation. Hey guys, if you just enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, www.youtube.com forward slash T.S. Madison Hinton. Or if you're already here, click that bell up there, up there, one of them, and subscribe so that you don't miss this or any other excellent content that I have for you. Don't meet me here. Beat me here. Ciao. It's you right don't have there. no other choice but to see me because I'm in everything and everywhere. Ooh. I'm in film, right. television, okay. streaming, music, bitch, and pornography. Damn. Bye. Damn.